Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Dodgeball Academia. Now, this was developed by Pocket Trap, published by Humble Games and is usually available for 20 99 but once again has done us an incredible service by going on to Xbox Game Pass from day one. So, like I always say, if you haven't got Game Pass by now, why? Go get that. Anyway, we play as Otto, a young Pokemon looking kind of trainer who actually wants to prevail in the world of dodgeball. So we are at a school preparing to be the very best, like no one ever was. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> Excuse me there, wrong one, but get ready to remember the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive and dodge. <laughs> anyway, as for achievements, normally this would be a rough game to complete legit. But thanks to the devs sticking in the awesome damage taken and damage given options, this becomes breezier than wind up your nan's knickers. Now, I've gone slow but fast as always, so you can hopefully keep up without having to pause the video too much, and we can get this done in around 4 hours or so. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, you can um, change the options if you want to from the main menu. Uh, from the very start, or we can just press new game, which we are going to do. Click start from episode one, and we're just going to go from there. And uh, what you could do is just double tap the Y button, and that will skip all of the dialogue, which we will be doing a lot through the game. So anytime you see any new cutscenes or any dialogue like that, just keep double tapping the Y button to get through it. And then what you can do is also press the B button to roll. If you continue to press the B button, you will roll a little bit faster. It doesn't do anything except get us to places a little bit quicker. So anytime you see any cutscenes or, like I said, any dialogue like that, you're going to bash the Y button continuously until we get to the next bit. And that's why you'll see the menu sort of pop up for a quick second. But as we head into the options menu, go into accessibility options, difficulty settings, Put damage taken all the way down to 0% and damage dealt up to 400%. Now, like I said, if you're into the type of sort of games where it can be quite legit to complete, then by all means leave it as it is. But since this is just an achievement guide, of course, we are going to be smashing out and just getting past everything very easy. With all the dodgeball fights, they will literally take seconds to complete with those awesome... Um, bit of options there, so we're just going to skip past everyone, that guy, kid looked like he had diarrhea or some constipation or something there, we hope he's okay, uh, but we're just going to keep skipping the dialogue for the time being. And then we are going to get into our first fight, now obviously this is all going to be just a bit of a tutorial, so you need to run to grab the dodgeball, you'll pick it up automatically, press the X button to throw it. And then that is, um, well, that's how you do things. But of course, it's going to be a lot more complicated. Again, if you were going to play this legit, it would have been a lot more complicated. But st again, thanks to the options, um, that is literally what we're going to do for every fight through the entire game. We're just going to pick up the ball and just keep pressing the X button rather than having to dodge and do all that. This is basically going to be called just um, Smash Ball instead of Dodge Ball because we ain't going to be dodging schnep. Anyway, we're uh, having a little talk with the old monkey head guy right meow. And so again, this is another fight that's just going to get us used to it. So as soon as it starts there, run immediately to the ball, obviously using the left stick, and then just keep pressing the X button. Like I said, this is what we're going to be doing for the majority of the fights rather than dodging and being all tactical as the game originally wants you to be. We're just going to pick it up and throw the crap out of it. So now we've got um, a guy with the balloon for a head for some reason. That is actually <laughs> most people in the world, actually. Um, so we're just going to say, I already know it, we don't need to go into the tutorial, since of course we've got the awesome options on. We're just going to chuck Airhead out of the way, and we are going to fight Nino, the old... I mean, is that a monkey, or is that supposed to be some kind of TV thing or something? Uh, so you can press the right trigger to pass, um, which we will only do once or twice through the game, and that will only be for achievements. Oh, well, Balloon, you look a little deflated there. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, keep double tapping the Y button to skip all of the dialogue as I think of some more jokes. But 
But now we can get into the game proper. Now, it may take a little bit of time to get used to the controls on how to roll and everything, but all we're doing is going up the stairs, and this is the score with the two dodgeballs at the side of it, so you'll know where the hell to go. Now, what you'll need to do is pick up these dodgeballs, because there are a lot of collectibles in the world that we need to be grabbing, and you actually can only bash them open by chucking a dodgeball at it, obviously. Otherwise, it would just be called ball. And that's not as good as dodgeball, right? So grab all the balls you can, and then we're just going to head back outside. Now, the map is only very small anyway, um, so we won't need to get... You should get used to the map very quickly. So for now, we're going to head to the left. Again, press B to roll. And we're going to head up these first set of stairs eventually, but there is a collectible that we need to grab right here. You actually need to be on the side of these said collectible bins. Me being an absolute moron right there. <laughs> Didn't figure that one out until too late. So go ahead, grab the balls. Always worth just keeping a load of balls on you. Um, but those items should always be the same. So we're going to head up these stairs right here. And there's just going to be one kid and we're going to chuck um, 10 dodgeballs at him. Um, so yeah, so grab the tangerine from that one bucket and then just keep smashing this kid. We're going to smash him 10 times and that is going to be the what's your problem achievement unlocking. I, he already looks kind of pissed off, so, you know, to be whacked with a dodgeball in the ass ten times. I would go and see the nurse if I were you, to be honest, kid. Right, what we're going to do next, we're going to grab another achievement straight away now. And to do it, you need to be on top of those stairs, and we need to be pressing the left, uh, the B button as quick as we can. Head all the way down, hit the bench like that, and that will get us the ouch my head achievement. But, of course, you need to be... Continuously tapping the B button to go faster and faster and faster until you hit the bench. Uh, that may take one or two tries, but you should get that one as well. So grab the bin on the left and then the, grab this bin in the courts to get a tangerine and a pineapple slice. Again, may seem a bit weird, but these will all come in mega handy a lot later on. So don't think I'm just collecting random pieces of crap for nothing. So what we're going to do is just head down and we're going to head up the stairs to the left. And we're going to get to the next area. Thank you, Mr. Airhead. You can just get back in my pocket, bitch. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head up. And we're heading into the shop. Oh, in fact, no, it's not because the shop is closed. Well, thanks, Balloonie. Uh, but what we are doing is heading just in this little picnic area. We're going to be grabbing another one of these little collectible bins. And we're going to get a bit of sweet bit candy. You don't know where it's come from, but you're going to get it down your neck anyway. You know, sweets are sweets, bruh. Anyway, we're going to head down into this sort of main circle area. Skip through a bit of dialogue. So here we are then, yet another fight. Now, of course, what we're going to do is just grab the ball as quick as you can and just whack it over. Now, you can actually press the B button. To, um, as soon as the dodgeball is coming your way, you can press the B button at the right time to grab it. But of course, since we're not taking any damage, that won't really matter at all. Um, I won't be skipping over any fights. Like I said, literally, th most of them just last seconds. So it's pointless. And if you can keep up the same time as I do, we can just uh, do all of this in real time together. And life will be good. And you don't have to keep pausing annoyingly. So we're going to head to the right and we're going into this library. Library, right? Yeah, and we're going to speak to this gorgeous looking woman with the bigger badonka donks who looks really angry and pissed off, which is most librarians, I suppose. Um, as soon as the dialogue skipped, head up the stairs, and we are actually going to collect our first proper collectible chest. So, there are two types of collectibles we grab the bins with food in them, and the actual collectible chests with actual collectible goodness in them. So make sure to grab that first one there from the top of the library. Again, all timestamps with everything will be provided in the description below. And we're coming up to another fight. And it's just another bit of tutorial. So, so bash the X button when prompted and that'll grab the ball off them. Doesn't always work, but you know, screw it. We are invincible. Invincible. And every time we win, for some reason, Otto sniffs his finger. It's like he fingered him and now he's, it's like a reward for him, which is kind of weird. Still, anyway... <laughs> Whatever you do, you hun. Whatever you, whatever you're happy with. Right. So after this bit, then we are just going to head back over the bridge to the right, and whoops, slowing down. We're going back, and we're going to be speaking to this uh, no, Noemi, Noemi, right here. 
By the way, if you do actually want to skip out of the role, this is our first um, side quest as well. So if you do want to um, break out of a role, just press the A button there to jump, and that'll get you out of the role uh, quickly. So we're going to speak to Kayabo, right on the left right here, after speaking to Nuemi, and we're going to be in a fight with this guy. He's got giant red hands for some reason as well. Again, I don't know where you've been sticking those hands, boy, but I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, I don't. So, like I said, with the majority of the fights, I will be speaking over them for the for a couple, just uh, as the tutorials and everything come al around and we start sniffing our finger after we win again for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> but, like I said, later on, there will be no point speaking over the fights because we'll be doing the same thing anyway, grabbing the ball and just bashing the X button until we win. If only life was that easy. <laughs> so, we're going to keep heading down and, yeah, again, we're going to speak to new Amy right here. I didn't figure out that when you're rolling, you can just press the A button to jump out of a roll, and that makes life a hell of a lot easier. So, we've just done our first side quest there, happy days, now we can go back all the way to the right-hand side of the bridge, so roll, 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 duck, dive, dip, dodge, and roll, baby. And went back at the school grounds. So, we're going up this time, and we're just going to keep on heading into these courtyards, and we're going to get ourselves with two fights. Now, the, the reason we'll be fighting a lot of people is, we, for one, it's a lot of XP, which we need to get our characters to level 50, and it's also a lot of money, which we need for buying a lot of things later on as well. So, they always may seem pointless, but trust me, honey, they're going to come in handy. Okay. Right, so skip with him, and then go and bash up this chick, right meow. So you can press the A button, of course, when you get on there, um, when you see the rewards and experience. And obviously, we'll get a lot of rewards, a lot of experience, and a lot of new moves later on as well, which usually would come in mega handy. But of course, this one is just um, invincible, baby. So before we're heading into the school, we're going to speak to this guy. Now, this guy, he is part of a side quest for every single day. We need to beat this guy eight times, and he's always in the same spot. But of course, the uh, just keep saying yes, because, you know, you look angry, we hate your eyebrows, and we actually just want to wipe that angry smirk off your face. Or the opposite of smirk. Jerk. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be needing to beat this guy eight times. So once per day, there's eight chapters, eight days. And yeah, we've sniffed our finger again, so that's why he looks so bummed, to be honest, because we just fingered it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. So every day, we are going to need to beat this guy. So that is day one done. Now we're going to head down into and into and past the courts on the right hand side and we are going to be speaking to another person just after we grab this collector ball right here so get up maca a maca colored bar whatever the hell that is head to the right and then we're just going to jump up grab this ball again now grabbing all these balls are not particularly necessary but they do come in handy and we're just going to head right here to this orange court until we get into another fight <laughs> We've got big Boris, and there's only one Boris I know, and he's an absolute toss bag. Boris Johnson wishes he looked this blue and cute. Uh, now, this again, this would have been originally a very, very difficult fight, but as I've said, <laughs> it's, it's pretty piss easy now since we uh, can cheat our way there. Hey, and that's not for me, that's the devs doing that, so you'll have to blame them if you're unhappy with that, okay? So just keep smashing it, like I said. Uh, you can press the B button to grab the ball at the right time. Um, you don't get hurt anyway, so it doesn't make a difference, but just keep smashing him and life will be all good. So we're going to get another achievement there, first class rookie, you can't skip that one, uh, you can't miss that one, that one is story related, Boris looks fuming. Maybe go and wipe some blue off of that face, honey. We are going to be in another fight now. Um, we actually have to press the X button there to get into the fight with Mina. But this is basically just another tutorial one. Um, so all this one is then, uh, she's basically going to tell us to uh, counter it. 
So there we go. So every time she hits it, again, you press the B button to catch it at the right time. But again, it doesn't matter. I just keep pressing the X button for absolutely everything because it event she eventually dies anyway or gets knocked out. Hey, don't sniff your finger. We just knocked her out. That's... No, that's, that's prison. That's prison worthy, my friend. Don't be sniffing your finger after knocking a girl out. No, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's wrong, okay? So we're going to get another achievement as well because Mina is going to enjoy, join our team. Actually, she must have enjoyed the finger, so... Although maybe you are cool. Maybe it's that big old, you know, Tails. Tails from Sonic Quiff that's doing it for him. Anyway, we're heading up to the left. Past, uh, just by the cafe, we're going to get another Macacaca Chocolate Bar. Or whatever the hell that is. And then we're just going to keep on heading to the left. We are coming up to the end of episode one, actually. But we're going to head into the school. We're going to look all cool in the school. And again, grab another couple of uh, dodgeballs right here, as we always do. And then skip the dialogue with the worst X-Men you've ever seen. Now this is just going to be a normal fight, we don't need to do anything, it's not a tutorial, so just grab as many balls as you can, keep smashing the X button until all of them are gone, especially a goofy constipated child right there. So that gets rid of the constipated child and the monkey TV looking thing. So again, any time, like I said, you're in any cutscenes or any dialogues, just keep tapping the Y button. It should be fairly obvious when you know, you know, when you're in a uh, specific cutscene or dialogue. Uh, you can choose absolutely anyone. Um, there wasn't the um, ball bags or the dodge bollocks or anything funny. It was all just crap. So I just picked the crap, uh, the top one to be honest. <laughs> And so that is that. That is that for our first day then. So we're going to come outside and basically what we're going to do is head all the way to the bottom left hand corner of this map, go over the bridge and head to our bed for a night of passionate, gorgeous sleeping. Uh, so there's the infirm infirmary they call it, the doctor's office. Um, we don't need to go in there much. Um, Kind of like a crappy uh, Pokemon Center, to be honest. But as we head down the bridge, we're going to go down into the sort of circly smiley area, head into the left. Um, Airhead's going to pop out for a bit there. And again, it's a very riveting conversation, I assume. And then we're just going to head up. Uh, again, our head must really bloody hurt since we keep crashing and smashing into everything. And before we head up to bed, then, you can have a look then. Not a, really a lot to do apart from collect a few things. So the first thing we're going to collect is this collectible bin on the right to get a blue ice popsicle. Now if you're going to shove that in your pocket, make sure it's somewhere where it doesn't get too cold. And, you know, you don't sort of crap your pants with it. Grab this next one in the kitchen and you get a lemon soda. But if somebody's taking out one slice of pizza and actually, actually hasn't eaten it and that is blasphemy. Um, but we are going to head up the stairs. There is a ball here you can grab as well. And there is another collectible bin on the right hand side. So we'll smash this one open. Get a cola drink. Delicious. And then head into the only open door. And we're going to have a little bit of conversation with Airhead and Blondie McBlonde. But that is the first episode done already. 18 minutes. Fantastic. So we're going to end the day. Press X to go on your bed. Press uh, say yes, and then we are going to save the game. You can save the game at literally any point as well, um, but I always tend to do it as we go to bed right here, and, you know, a couple of times during the um, subsequent chapters as well, because you never know what goes on. Technology is a piece of bitch these days, so you never actually know. Uh, so we're just going to head out of the door. We're going to have a little conversation with Otto, a new main quest. And as we head out, we're going to have a little bit more conversation as well before heading out and down. So then we are going to head down. We're going to head out of the house and we're going to... It's a beautiful day. Ah, smell that air. Well, everyone still looks extremely and massively pissed off. Uh, we are going to be coming up to achievement in not this fight, but the next fight. So like I said... 
any fights I'm not going to skip because I, like I said I've told you exactly what to do pick up the balls as quick as you can smash them at the guys angry looking heads until you win job done So we have won this fight, I um, tried getting the dodgeball master achievement in this one but somehow failed. So basically, for the next fight we need to win a match without catching, countering or getting hit. Um, so you can do it on literally any fight, obviously it's easier to do it with these fights, but this one I found especially easier because there are only two people. So remember, don't catch, don't counter and don't get hit. So immediately pick up the one. Hit the ball at the one, and that should be that. Now, you may be able to quickly smash this chick out, and that is job done. If you wanted to take a bit more of a uh, sort of negative or a bit more cautious approach, you can wait until she picks up the ball, but she can actually chuck it at the other guy who can then throw it at you, so just be careful with that. So it's probably always easier to just be straight on the offensive, grab the ball as quick as you can, and then smash the crap out of them. Um, but of course, like I said, we're going through plenty of fights in this game, so do not worry your gorgeous head off about it. Plenty of fights to get those achievements in. Now, with this next fight, what we're going to do, we're going to smash out um, horse face right there. For some reason, they all look like they've got horse faces. Uh, go for the one ball again, any particular one. Smash. <laughs> Somebody's going to get smashed. There we go. And now I believe... No, we are going to win this one. Sorry, I thought I was going for another achievement, the nice reflexes, which was catching or countering 10 consecutive attacks without getting hits. But I suppose we'll do that in the next one. So for now then, from here, we are now going to go over the bridge. So apologies uh, just a little bit earlier on. I was going to go over the bridge, but I remembered we got to fight that guy. All the XP, the tiny XP and money definitely comes in handy. So, uh, head up, now we're going to head to the right, and we're actually going to uh, speak to the rematch dude right here. Remember, we need to fight him once every single day, and obviously he gets a bit stronger and stronger. <laughs> Not for us when we got a god mode on, baby. Bring on the god mode, oh yeah. So, smash him out, job is good. And what we're going to get, we're going to get some Ace Roller or Aka Roller Juice or whatever in the hell kind of juice that is. But for now, we're going to head back in, go back into the school, which is, of course, this sort of big red building. Kind of looks like the Pokemon, uh, you know, as soon as you go into, go into the Elite Four kind of building. <laughs> but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we're going to grab all the balls, all the balls we can. See if we got big balls, fit them in our pocket. Hey, George. You look huge, but super friendly. But we are actually going to go upstairs to the right, and we are going to get another side quest, and it is with this guy right here. So we are going to help him out, and we're going to get six six quid for it. Six do well, it's not dollars, it's called bollars in this game. Six bollocks, which is just hilarious. I don't know why. Bollars sounds a lot better than dollars. I'm just positive about that. So, what we need to do then, we need to get him a little item from the shop, so that is exactly where we are heading. And so again, like I said, it's over the other side of the map. Um, so it's always a case of heading down to the left, past the infirmary right here where Dr. Weird, Dr. Weird Face is. Heading over the bridge and then the shop is just up. Now, when we get to the shop, there are plenty of things we can buy. Actually, there's only about four or five. But we are just going to be grabbing the cheapest thing, which is a gross bandage. And for some reason, the other guy is going to be extremely happy with that. Literally don't know why that lazy son of a bitch couldn't just walk over. But there we go. Such is life. And the things we do for money. Although, I'll tell you what. If I could do that and get, a, <laughs> and get like four bollars profit, I'd happily go to the shop for anyone. So, if anyone wants to pay me... 
uh, to go to the shop to get a couple of bandages or plasters for them, I'd be very happy to do that for you as long as I can keep the four dollars bollers change. Again, I still haven't figured out how to press the jump button to get out of the roll yet for some reason. Uh, but we are, of course, heading back to the school when we've got the gross bandage. Heading upstairs. Again, remember, it is the uh, we can go upstairs to the right or the left, doesn't matter. But it is the guy on the left that we need to give the bandage to. And that's the next side quest done. Now, it does look like there will be plenty of side quests. Uh, but there's only like 12 or something in the entire game. So... Don't worry if you've missed one or anything like that, um, because you can come back to it afterwards anyway, with the timestamps again provided in the description below. So we're heading through the first door on the left, talking to the worst Professor X you've ever seen. Not that everyone in a wheelchair is just automatically Professor X, by the way. Obviously, I'm not making that assumption, although it wouldn't be too bad. So this is where the... Um, uh, this is just another tutorial, basically, so all you need to do then is just follow the on-screen instructions. So we're holding the X button to use the charged throw just a couple of times. And <laughs> yeah, I'm really not good at uh, catching the ball, which means I would suck balls at dodgeball. So while Mina apparently has the full-on erection when it comes to the big massive power ball there, we apparently go straight into limp mode and we need to go and see a doctor to see what the problem is about that. <laughs> Whips, I'm just joking of course. Uh, I don't have that problem, honestly. Don't listen to the rumours, damn it! Anyway, skipping past all the dialogue, we're going to get out of the classroom, we have embarrassed ourselves, we finished super early and was in limp mode the entire time, so that did not go well for us. And we need to redeem ourselves. So what we're going to do again, grab a couple of balls if you want to make yourself feel better. Heading out of the school, and we're going to head to the right and down slightly, or the right slightly and down, and then we're going to speak to this guy as soon as I stop wasting my dodgeballs. So, uh, speak to this guy there, an unexpected crisis. This is another side quest. Um... Now, with these side quests, we're not just going to automatically go and do them every single time. We are going to do them over time while doing other things in between because there are a lot to do in this game. So, head into the school, speak to Big George right now, and then just choose, yeah, leave it to us. And again, we're going to get into another little fight. So, again, grab the ball, press the X button, destroy, destroy, destroy. And in fact, just for a laugh, we're actually going to be getting into three fights here, one after the other. So, don't rest on your laurels, baby.
You see, you see how quickly everything is in here in this bloody game. How quickly we can win these fights. So George is going to give us the grabber rod. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to be grabbing with that. <laughs> Wiener. Right. So anyway, now we've got the grabber rod. We can head back down, speak to the guy right here by the bin, and that he gives us some brand new gloves. Thank God they're not old and stinky, because well, you know we don't know where we've been, or where they've been even. So when we head back up, when we're done with that, we can head back up. We're going to head to the left. I'm going to jump down and we're going to do another couple of fights in the courtyard. So, get your balls ready. So then from here what we can do is actually we, we can just basically head to the right and we're going to just go straight to the orange courtyard to fight the next guy. And for some reason I kind of make a hash and a complete meal out of this one. Uh, but we are just heading all the way right from where we just fought the last guy to the orange courtyard to fight uh, this next looking guy. Another angry dude who, <laughs> well, mate, you need to sort out your goddamn eyebrows and your anger issues. But what we are going to be doing is actually grabbing another achievement. Now this one is for catching or countering 10 consecutive attacks without getting hit. So what we can do is knock out the first couple of guys. And when there is one guy left, we're going to go to options, accessibility, difficulty settings. And we're going to put the damage dealt down to 5%. Now basically of course what this does is you can just throw balls at him and he'll only get knocked out once. Now... Every time he throws a ball, just make sure to press the B button at the right time. Again, not too early, not too late, um, until the achievement unlocks. So you've only, you should only have the one ball thrown at you. So just keep pressing the B button just as the ball gets to you. Do this ten times. Job's done. Achievement unlocks. Then you can just smash the damage taken or the damage dealt all the way back up to 400%. Knock this horse teeth guy out. Ah, we can move on. Now remember, of course, you don't have to do it in the exact same fights I do. There are plenty of fights we can do this in, um, but we're just going to head to the right and we're just going to kill and destroy this guy. Um, but of course, like I said, you don't have to do it in the exact same fights. Plenty of fights to do it in, so don't panic if you still haven't got it yet. Um, still very easy enough to do um, with fights. Probably even worth doing with fights later on anyway, um, because of course there's more HP guys later on, so... Just a thought if you don't want to do it right now. So we've, we've just fingered all them, we've sniffed our finger, and now we've won, taken all the money and experience, and now we can move on, so happy days. So we're going to the top right hand corner there, just gra uh, grabbing the collectible bin, the sweet bit candy. Grab this extra ball, you need a set of balls to keep you going, always. And then we're going to head down, we're going to grab this next ball, and we're also going to grab the second collectible chest right here, which is the cracked helmet. So again, these are very important chests to be collecting, so make sure to grab all of them. So we're going to hop over the fence, and before I realize what I'm actually going to bloody try and do, we're going to the right, and we're going to the dome, as you can see there, the current objective in the bottom right-hand corner, um, going to the dome for the tournament briefing. Now, for some reason, I didn't use that an awful lot. I sort of knew where I was going <laughs> eventually, but what you're going to do is keep, once again, we're into the weird... We had a lamer X-Men section, so just keep skipping all the dialogue until we get into another fight. 
And did I say another fight? Of course, what I meant was we're actually not getting into a fight and we're going to leave. But we're going to head to the left. We're going to grab this next collectible bin right here. Let's jump yourself over. Get yourself a lickety lickety lollipop. Hmm, that sounds nice. And then we're going to head up just to the right in this grassy area, grabbing the next bin, the milk pudding. That is probably as chunky and disgusting as hell. And then we're going to speak to this epic, constipated looking dude right here. Stop. Right there. Okay. But we are going to fight him. So whack his teeth in. Everyone's happy. Except this guy. Sorry, mate, but, uh, you know, you shouldn't have um, pooped your pants on the court there, and I wouldn't have had to have taught you a lesson. So when we're done with the crying kid, we're going to head up into this shop right here. We're going to speak to the old lady, and we're going to try and get the tournament badge. Happy days, it's what we've got. So now we can participate in the tournament. Thank you, little happy old lady, who, I don't know, she kind of looks like a clown or something. So we've got that. We're going to skip the dialogue, and we're going to head out of the door. And what we're going to do then is head to the left. And we're going to roll, roll and roll and roll and roll them. And then what's going to happen is when we go to the left, we're going to speak to this box-headed looking kid right here. Uh, Cubo, which is fair enough. He's got a cube head. And he's got a hell of a smile. It seems like he more belongs in the Cuphead world rather than the Dodgeball Academia world. But still, we're going to kick his ass. And with this, then, you should get, if you've been following exactly as I've done, um, beating everyone that I've done, you should have reached level 10 with Otto by now, and unlocked the work hardworking student achievement. So we're going to speak to the school monitor, who looks exactly what a school monitor would look like. An absolute jerk-off. Uh, so what we need to do now is go and find the vampire-looking girl, who resembles more Sonic the Hedgehog's leukemiaed up sister rather than an actual Sonic the Hedgehog itself. Although I suppose it's supposed to be a vampire, so yeah. Anyway, we're gonna kick her ass. Kick her ass with the tournament badge. So then from here, once we've kicked the leukemia at Sonic the Hedgehog's sister, we're going to head up over the fence and we're going to speak to the um, disgustingness that is the school looking monitor. And then basically <laughs> we've dealt who we wanted to, sadly we still need to get a couple of other things. So we're going to skip all the dialogue and we're going to head to the infirmary which the weird doctor man was standing outside earlier on. So down to the left and as you can see there it's got the Swiss flag i.e. it is the um, Pokemon Healing Center, or what it looks like. Uh, obviously, as, that's what you can see, as your new, object, uh, new objective is telling you, search for a badge in the infirmary. What's going to happen? We're going to speak to Cubo, or Cubehead, or Cube the Pube, and then we're going to get into a fight with these weird-looking guys, including Constipation Man. Always nice to see him back. Now, Otto is going to get really pissed off here, and this is the first time we're going to use our ball type move. I believe this is automatic, um, but if you want to be using it from now on, the purple bar underneath our HP, as soon as that's filled with purple, you can press the left trigger button, use your ball type move, everyone's happy except for the guy that you've just moided.
So then after we have killed those guys, they're all going to be dazed for a bit. We're going to head to the right. We're going up the stairs. And then what we're going to do is go to the right. And then we're going up to the cafe, which is right about meow. Now, what we're going to do, when we're going to speak to little old, cute little old lady Doris, or whatever her name is, the tournament badge is apparently now up to a grand. Which is goddamn ridiculous for a tournament badge. A little piece of plastic. You could probably mould yourself out of your own skin or something. Anyway, we're going to um, fight yet another chick. She's more angry and more purple, but this, once again, is more of a tutorial um, showing us how to use the focus ability. So hold the Y button. It's basically going to tell you anyway, but holding the Y button uh, gives us more focus and I presume uh, knocks him out a little bit quicker. I say I presume because we are going to just use the God Mode cheat for the rest of this game. Nice. <laughs> So then, after once again sniffing his finger after another victory, what if you do, I mean, I wonder what he does if he doesn't win, then, you know, does he, like, stick his thumb up his nose, or does he stick it down somewhere? Anyway, what we're going to do is head all the way down past the infirmary, infirmary, and then what we're going to do is go left, we're going over the bridge, and basically we're going to head for the library this time, so... Obviously, as you can see there, by your current objective at the bottom of the screen, search for a badge in the libel berry. So, enjoy all the angriest faces I've ever seen at school. Although, then again, if you went to my school, you could probably understand why. But we didn't get dodgeballs up our ass 24-7, so... Bit of a win-win. So, we need to answer these questions um, correctly. So, the uh, question number one is the distance from the center. So, that's number two. And she seems happy with that. Question number two is, the answer is, it's the diameter divided by two, which is the bottom option right there. And then, what is the lunch lady's real name? You can choose anyone you want. Astrid, Boris, don't know. It makes no difference there. Um, but question number one was uh, the second answer, and question number two was the third answer right there. So, once you've answered those correctly, we can now head back out. And we need to, once again, return to the Domi with our badges. I mean, this is a hell of a lot of work to enter one stinking tournament competition. Once we get here then, roll your skinny ass all the way over to the right hand side. Why, until Kayabo uh, stops us. We need to do another fight before we enter the old Domal Baldo. Okay, so that one was a little bit more of a longer fight, but, you know, screw it. I just think it's more effort editing out all the fights than it is to actually leave it in, so you can come along with me in real time anyway. I think that's always a preference for everyone. So before heading into the dome, head to the right-hand side and get grab this chocolate truffle from the bin, which would be delicious, except it's got a few, looks like a, a few sort of curly-whirly hairs on that, but phew, we can just blow them off, that's fine. Head up, and we're going to talk to the um, Lamo X Men again. The S Men, for, hmm, well, we'll call them Shit Men. And what we're going to do is speak to the big, massive principal right here. You bet your face. That is what we're going to say first. You better your face. Ah, shut up, your face. And that's going to be uh, episode two 
almost done, actually, because Baloney has now joined our team. Sorry, that's the achievement for doing that. But episode two is almost done. Obviously, we've got another fight with Cube the Pube. We've got a fight with Johnny Bravo's worse uh, younger brother and the constipated man. And again, this is going to act as a little bit of a tutorial as well, where we can press the right trigger to pass the ball to another team member so they can get beat instead. <laughs> Again, my apologies, I thought this was a passing the ball tutorial, but I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much close enough, isn't it? Balloony heals us, which of course we're not going to need that much, but we have completed episode 2. Uh, you, you know the tutorial anyway, so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to return to our dorm and we're going to sleep in our bed, as you can see there at the bottom of the screen, to end the day. So obviously that's just going all the way to the left, down and then left, up to the dorm, and then you can sleep your stinking troubles away. The fact that you almost spent a grand on one stinking tournament plastic ass badge. Now, wouldn't that have pissed you off? Now, I will actually say, uh, as we're going up the stairs, you can probably see there that you can go down the stairs to the basement. Now, there is a collectible chest in there, but we will not be collecting that one until the end of the game. That's very, very important that we are not going to collect that until the end of the game because it basically glitches out the achievement for collecting all the collectible chests. So, that is why we're going to leave that. But I just thought I'd let you know now in case you head down there and you're like, bruh, there's a chest that we haven't collected. That's why we're leaving that until the very, very end of the game after we've done everything all the story missions so save the game as normal and then we can head on to the next day we're gonna have a little bit of conversation with airhead right here and then of course we're just gonna head out of the door when done <laughs> How did us two sleep? Mate, I slept next to a bloody balloon. When he snores, he does that weird, you know, the weird noise when people put their thumbs and everything over him. The, the weird scrunchy noise. That's how balloon he snores. Oh God, I didn't have a good friggin' sleep. Jesus Christ. Anyway, heading over the bridge. <laughs> we are in this unskippable fight, so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna kick some ass very quickly. Well, I mean, thank you for the pizza slice with pineapple, but you can roll that up and stick it with the sun don't shine. Pissing pineapple on pizza. Ugh. I bet even the Italians get annoyed when they see that as well. Guaranteed they get annoyed. Anyway, once we get here, by just by the infirmary there, we're going to speak with this chick. And we're going to get the side quest to find the glasses. This one's going to take about 10 minutes or so, purely because we're going to do other, a few other little things first, including fighting the hell out of some angry looking horse teeth kids. Well, 
Once that's done then, and we've robbed them of their money, we can head up, slightly go to the left, and speak with Chick Chicken Dude to get in another fight, stick some dodgeballs in their ass, and end the fight. <laughs> Game set and match, um, grab their prize money, grab their pizza slice, sniff your finger, Balloony learns another move. So again, all of these moves would come in incredible handy when we were playing this game legit. Since that's not happening, we are just going to head to the left and up and there's going to be another collectible bin for us to grab, a nice watermelon slice. So go ahead, grab that and then just head back to the right. What we're going to do now is actually speak to the rematch guy once again. Just outside the school, as we have done twice so far, so this will be the third time out of eight, because there are eight episodes, etc. Bal his ass, and that is good. So what we're going to be doing then is just a whole bunch of fights. We're going to get that XP, we're going to take everyone's money. I mean, technically it's kind of bullying if you think about it, but anyway, what we're going to do, we're just going to head into equipment and we can actually use, um, uh, obviously, uh, pieces of equipment. So earbuds, for instance, of course, as you can see, they increase the strength by 32%. Um, we can put them in both empty slots and we're just going to put the pretty pendant in as well. Um, now, this is just, I mean, you don't really have to do that uh, in particularly, but it just helps that extra little bit more to destroy everyone as quickly as possible. So, as you can see, we just went down a little bit, get in, got into this fight, uh, but you can use absolutely anything on the equipment if you wanted to. It, it literally just helps speed the game up a little bit quicker. Obviously, it would have helped in, in completely real life if um, we were doing this legit, but... Uh, the ways the gods want us to cheat, and who are we to question the way of the gods? The way of the gaming gods, anyway. And so when that fight's done, head down, head to the left, and we're gonna... We're not gonna speak to that guy, we're gonna speak to this chick right here and head into another fight. <laughs> So then after we've just sniffed our finger with the battle victory once again, we can now just head down and to the right and we're basically going to be getting another side quest right now. So head on to the stairs, all the way to the right, boop, crash into this dude, uh, blonde angry looking m, m and then we've got Nature's Desire. So again, this one's going to take a while, there are basically three um, particular guys that we have to find and beat and there's two of them in this area and one of them is in the wooded area which we'll get into in just a bit but we're going to head up to the orange courtyard and we're going to get ready for a humiliating defeat but not for me <laughs> So then, after this fight, we need to now talk to one guy that's running, and for me, he's about to run right past me. That's the guy <laughs> who we need to fight. Um, so yeah, he is part one of the Nature's Desire side quest that we've just got. Um, it's probably quicker to roll to him. I've just done everything very stupidly there. So yeah, it's just quicker to roll to him, <laughs> and then we can just... Once again, we're going to kick his ass, and like I said, there are two more of these guys that we need to find and beat. Beat Horse Teeth Man right here, and job is good as always. So once we're done, we're going to head up into the cafe right now. Uh, we're going to speak to Lunch 
Hey, your lunch lady Doris, have you got any grease? Then grease me up, woman! And we're gonna basically have to fight another three people. So this is literally how it goes completely in this game. Talk, fight, talk, fight, sleep, talk, fight, don't eat, don't drink, talk, fight, buy some stuff, talk and then fight. So thankfully that's all three little douchebags dealt with, now what we're going to do is head out of the cafe and go to the left, we're basically going to complete the one side quest. So to the left, past the school, heading down the old stepperonies, and then, <laughs> sorry buddy, you st you're still knocked out, that's because we sniffed our finger after the victory, wouldn't it, that's killed you off. We're going to speak to this chick here, and there we go, so in return we get the winged wristband, which Normally would be free, but we got that from Pandora, so that costs about £600,000 for a piece of <laughs> winged metal. So, what we're going to do then, we're going to um, increase the strength again. Basically, I'm going to put the winged wristband in place of the pretty pendant, because that's how I like to play games. It's all about strength and offence, rather than try and defend and, you know, do things properly. And the reason we just went in and out of the infirmary, infirmary is so this guy will appear. Now, he may not appear every time, but he will be running in that general direction. But three times I went into the infirmary and straight back out and he appeared. So, this, uh, remember, is for the second side quest. So, just kick his ass and everyone's happy. Except for that guy. Ah, there we go, so fantastic. Right, what we're doing, gonna do now is head back up to the school, so heading up to the right, ignoring a replay guy, of course he's still been fingered drastically, so he's not, he's, he's done for the day, <laughs> which I think a lot of us do. Pick up a couple of bowels right here, always make sure you got full balls, um, because you know, you never know when you'll need them most. <laughs> that could mean two things. Head to the left and we're going to get into a fight here before we're going to head into the crown doors right there. We're going to be coming up to a achievement, which again would be extremely tough legitimately. But thankfully for us this time, it's fan just fan. It's fan. So there we go then, that's done, now we're going to head into the door with the crown on it, right there, and we've got Big old Onion Head, or whatever the hell his name is, but he looks, he looks generally off his nut, what is he doing here? I told you this is the S-Men, this is the ship men, it's not the X-Men. So this is, basically what we need to do is get an S rank now on all of these challenges. Now, like I said, this would be quite difficult on its own at the minute it's fine but the more balls and the more tv guys that come around i mean i don't know what the hell is supposed to be this would get quite tricky uh, but basically we uh basically basically to get to um every s rank on easy medium and hard we need to last for at least one whole minute um but obviously like i said with that this time we can so you don't even have to dodge, I'm just trying to be absolutely cute, and I looks like I'm completely failing that. Um, but you can you can literally just stand in the middle, wait for a minute, and as soon as a minute, maybe get to one minute and one second, as soon as that's up, then we can um, 
turn the sorry I forgot the word we can turn the accessibility options off um, get hit get dead and then we can go again so I'll show you right now so we've got to a minute that'll be your S rank so now we can go down to options into your accessibility settings into your difficulty settings and then put damage taken up to 100, 200%, whatever it is. Uh, because we are going to get knocked the fudge out, buddy. Very quickly, as you can see. But of course, it doesn't matter. We've already got our S rank for doing it for a minute. So we're all good. But like I said, to get the achievement on S rank and on everything, we need to now do medium and hard. So again, we're going to obviously skip through the dialogue as per the old usual. Chester, that's the one. Old onion-headed Chester. You look disgusting. Droidge Bot. What a name. I tell you, the music in this is just goddamn incredible as well. Uh, but there is a fight, but obviously what we're going to do is go straight into your options. And obviously, t uh, accessibility settings, difficulty settings, and put the damage taken all the way back down to zero. Just so we can kick these uh, old, tiny computers' asses. So after we've shut all the computers down, <laughs> that's funny, probably not. Now we're going to go and talk to one of the uh, bad X-Men. We're going to take on the challenge. Oh, really? Thank you. We've got our Kiwi Juice, which just sounds appalling in itself, really. And now we're going to go down to Medium. Now, obviously, it's exactly the same thing as Easy. So we've got, um, as long as you've got your difficulty settings, damage taken down to zero. Obviously, we're going to just fly this, so... Just wait for a minute. Um, like I said, you can try and do this sort of legitimately with cheats on if you want, and just to see how far you'd get. Um, but again, just wait for a minute, and then go to your accessibility options, put damage, damage taken up, die, and that will be your S rank again. BAM! There we go, baby! One minute and three! We are so good at this with our damage taken on 0%. So again, damage taken, chuck it all the way up and get your ass completely full of balls. Not that that's a good thing, by the way. That is... Nobody, nobody's ass wants to be full of balls. Dodgeballs, baseballs, even the little beady balls. Anyway, that should be your second S rank. Now we can talk to him again. Um, a cat. Um, hell of a name. And then we can just talk to him, go into the hard difficulty settings, and obviously, once again, what you need to do, remember, you need to go to options as soon as you can, as soon as you can start it. Uh, not language. We already know what language this is. Barely English. So, damage taken down to zero, and we're just going to do the exact same thing. Wait a minute, and life will be happy for everyone.
Whistle, whistle, let's get into the options. Accessibility, difficulty, damage taken, all the way up to whatever. And once again, you, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? That would have been quite tricky. These computers are really pissed off, probably because nobody uses them anymore. Uh, Windows 98 style looking computers and monitors. But anyway, that should be that now. Now you should get the S rank for all dodging challenges. And we've got two more, one for um, defending and one for attacking. And it'll basically just be the same thing as then. So happy days. Obviously, remember to check your difficulty settings back down. Or the damage taken back down anyway. Because uh, you don't want to have that surprise where you get beaten the crap out of <laughs> because you forgot to do it. So our little air-headed friend is going to have a little chat with us and then we can just head to the right and head to this uh, little blue angeled f mother FOMO right here. And then we're just going to head downstairs after we have a little chat with her. Or whatever the hell that chat was about, not particularly too sure. So remember to load up your balls, make them nice and, uh, you know, make them nice and full and then we can get the hell out of there. <laughs> And if we just head down from the school to the right, we're going to get into another fight from the right. Ha! <laughs> this guy looks pissed off. Being bullied by Windows 98 computers. So what we are going to be wanting, thank you my onion headed friend with the weird glasses, if we head to the left and we're going to head up, basically we're still trying to get into this wooded area, uh, but the disgustingness of the school monitor kind of looks like Mr. Mackey, the female equivalent Mr. Mackey. Okay. Uh, she basically needs to tell us we need to get a pass. So we need to go and see the principal. So again, we're into the school. Grab a couple of balls. Head up the right stairs. And we're going to head to the right and end up in a fight. How many times are we going to say that through the game? Plenty, by the way, is, is the answer. You five think you can take on me? There is nothing I cannot do. I sniff my finger after every victory, which makes me hardcore. Anyway, enough with the Arnold. We are talking to the principal. We've got our written permission. And now that is where exactly where we're going to be heading. Back down to where the school monitor was. The old uh, Mrs. Mackey. Okay. And we're going to give her the written permission and head into the wooded area for the first time. Spooky. Oh, oh, there it is. Now we can go to the wooded area. There's not a lot, to be honest, that's going on here. Obviously, a couple of collectibles, a lot of fights, etc. Just the norm. So, we got Mina and Balloony in our pocket. Hmm. He, they are our bitch. Uh, grab this ball from up here, and then we're just going to head to the left. Um, and there is going to be a little collectible bin hidden behind a tree. Grab this chocolate truffle. Probably a bit mouldy, but that's fine. I can guarantee you've all eaten worse. And then just go ahead and speak to Windows 98. Now, these fights, again, would be a, a little bit tricky. But they're quickly done. You could probably... <laughs> we were done in seconds. But you could probably just see where the dodgeballs lay. Um, so just keep, keep guessing if you can't see them. You'll get it eventually, especially with your God Mode invincibility on. So with that fight done... There we go, thanking you very much. Right, now we can just keep heading down, sort of down the ramp to the right. Head up. And there's going to be another c c bin collectible. With a weird looking soda, which probably tastes like human ass. Anyway, head to the right, speak to the droidbot, and whip him in the anal beads as well. 
Uh, what? What? That is how good we are. We can get this crap done in seconds. So before heading down, obviously just above the droid bot, or the Windows 98 computer, sorry, hit the bin, get the cheese bread, everyone's happy. Right, this is all we got in this area, so we're gonna head down towards the screen, and there's gonna be another fight. So now we're in this area, basically we need to be looking for one last, uh, the last of those running guys that we need to beat. And he can appear through the log, if he doesn't appear through the log um, for a while, then you can actually just go through the log that he just came out of and look for him down there as well. So if he doesn't appear in the area that I just did, head through the log and he will be in that particular area. So this of course is for the uh, last side quest that we were doing, for beating all three of the running guys. So kick his ass and then eventually we can just head back and get our item. I don't know why these people don't want to do stuff themselves, but hey, that's video game logic, isn't it? The main character always has to do everyone else's crap. And they don't get paid much for it. Not as much as I'd want. So, right, we've, we've kicked his ass. Everyone's happy. Now we can go through the log that he just came. And we're going to head to the right. And we have, I believe, a there is a ball and a a collectible bin. We'll be coming back here a few times for a couple of items and a couple of fights and well, maybe just a jacket in San Diego over the side so the fish can eat what comes out of you. No, just joke it. Of course, that's disgusting. So, heading to, all the way to the left there, we can see what is the lab and we're going to have a little fight with Windows 98. Not sure why you smell any finger after beating a computer, but I uh, don't know what you're supposed to be sniffing there. So head up through the grass and we're going to have a yet another fight. An itch in one of your transistors. Okay, never mind. Now we know why we're smelling our fingers. We we're giving him a cheeky itch. Fair enough. Hope you haven't just given me a virus. Hmm? <laughs> So again, we're going to be coming back to the lab a little bit later on, but what we're going to do is head up the steps right here, grab the old ball, fill your, fill your balls up, and then head to the right, we can just see this uh, collectible bin, and we've got a nice chicken croquet. Oh, that's nice, probably dry as, dry, as a, <laughs> dry as your ass right now, but that's fine. Heading up there, and we can see we're going to fight another couple of Windows 98 computers. And from here, what we're going to do is head up, head to the right, and there's going to be one more collectible bin. Uh, another chicken croquette. J once again, dry as a chicken's ass, but that's fine. We're going to eat it anyway. Uh, we're going to grab a ball. Now, what we can do is actually just head back down the same way that we came. Uh, for some reason, I choose to go the ultimately stupid way, which is the long way round. Um, <laughs> yeah. So through the log right here, and basically we're just going to end up literally on the same sort of ramp that we were. So apologies about the long way around, don't know why I did that. But that's all cool anyway, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we're going to head all the way back down, past the old Windows 10 robot. Well, they're not Windows 10. And here we go then, we're going to be into another fight. Now of course, 
the reason we done the other fights first was to get as much XP and money as possible so we can get the particular achievements out of the way. So hit hit these computers and everyone's happy once again except for those angry looking dudes. So unlucky, go, go get yourself scene 2 for £68,000 from computer shops. But before we head into the library, we're going to head to the right first. There's a ball up here which we're going to grab and there is also a collectible bin. What we got in here this time? Ooh, a hot dog. Nice. That's a great find in a bin. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with that at all. Head down through the grass and there's another collectible for us to grab, you know, if we can actually hit it properly. And we've got another dry ass chicken crocket. Croquet. So with that we're gonna head to the left. There is one more that we can grab It's very well hidden just behind the sort of silo right here. Now there are plenty of these even when we get enough um, To do all the particular achievements with them later There are still a lot left to get in the game world So if you do miss one or two by now don't panic yourself about it like I said plenty that we can get through so Now then uh, Obviously heading into the lab we're going to speak to Nadine there on the right and then if we just head out, we now need to grab the password from Chester. And Chester, of course, is this onion-headed looking angel face right here. So, you know exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, it's always the same. Talking, fighting, Pokemon music, talking and fighting. And Pokemon music. I kind of wish I learned how to do um, all of these moves from Otto, <laughs> Mina, and Balloony, but I, I didn't even read it to be honest. So uh, I hope you are able to use some of his moves a little bit better. So we got the password. We're going to return. We've got Sonic's leukemia up sister. Oh, she's gone now. Never mind. And with that one, we can now go back outside and guess what we're going to be doing. We're going to try and knock the leukemia and the AIDS right out of Sonic's sister. I'm going to stop saying leukemia, actually. That, that's quite bad. I'm going to say something I'm going to say something funny. We're going to knock the, um, let's just call it an STD, is it? We'll knock the STD right out of Sonic's sister. Everyone's happy again. And so with that, then finally we can actually head back inside the lab and we can get the remote. Uh, this literally could have just been done all in one fell swoop, wouldn't it? Like, battle Chester, battle the STD Sonic outside, and then we can just go and get the password and remote. It just would have been a whole lot easier. But that's okay. So now we're going to go back to the old central plaza, as you can see there, with the current objective. And we're just going to head to the right. Central plaza, of course, being... Uh, heading up through the log, Central Plaza, of course, being the bit where we are the, where all the school is and stuff, obviously. Uh, heading to the right, though, we're going to interact with Windows 98 and have a yet another fight. The only reason we're coming in here is actually there's a couple of balls we can get and there's also a collectible bin there right next to uh, I'm so good I'm so I'm so so seen I'm so cool anyway we're gonna grab that and we are actually going to head back so we're gonna head to the left up the ramp here up the left ramp again and up 
past Windows 98 death computer, head into the right, but there is going to be one more fight with these Windows 98 computers before we can head back on through. Oh my god, friendly, friendly. We're done with this wooded area for now, but we're going to be coming back here quite a lot. So, we're out back into the school grounds. Uh, angry Windows 98 computers and angry M&M looking things, horse teeth things. Oh, they're, all, they're all going to be fighting each other. Anyway, what we're going to head to is basically down, back down to the dome. So head all the way to the bottom right corner of the map. We can now speak to uh, this... Horse teeth M&M looking guy. So we've just done that for him and he's going to fight us anyway, which gives us more pleasure to kick his white skinny little ass. So with that one done, that side quest is done, so thanks for that. And what we're going to do is head up by this sort of statue right here. Big fat man statue. And we're going to head onto the grass. Next to the courts, there is a bin collectible that we can grab. We can grab a little bit more food. Bam! Sweet bit candy. So like I said, every collectible bin we are going to be grabbing because it's all going to come in handy for particular achievements later on. It would also come in handy for uh, playing the game legit as well, but... Head to the left, and we're going to speak to OxoCube. So that's the Oxo Cube head done. We, we should also get the dedicated student as well for reaching level 20 with a team member. Again, if you haven't got it yet, do not panic. You, we will get it very quickly in just a bit anyway. Um, so you shouldn't be too far. As long as you've been following exactly what I've been doing, collecting what I've been collecting, you shouldn't be too far behind if you haven't got it yet. So that's Oxo Cube head done. Now what we can do is uh, we're going back into the wooded area, into the forest. We need to be getting Windows 98 uh, or DroidBot Zero is apparently his official title. But I think Windows 98 Computer Zero is just a little bit funnier because, well, they did all stink. Even though they were just fantastic at the time. As an eight year old on a Windows 98 computer, yeah. Well, it generally wasn't the best. Downloading a song or something and it was taking, you know, about literally about 600,000 years. So anyway, we're heading down, we're heading all the way to the left, past the grass, and we're going down into this sort of newer area that we haven't been yet. So there is a collectible chest with a lock on it right there, but we need to get a particular uh, team member in order to open that up for us. So we're just heading up into this sort of creepier wooded forest bit, and we're going to have this fight with Crazy. My, this guy, kind of, he, <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's on the verge of death. You know, like the Xbox Red Ring? Yeah, kind of like that, but for a Windows 98 computer. The blue screen of death.
So, after kicking his skinny little ass, we can now basically head back to the school area. So we're going through the grass, we're going up onto the steps. Basically, we need to go and check if everything's been good. This is basically the end now of episode three. So we can head to the right through the log. It's a very nice area, but I wonder where all these computers came from. This, <laughs> this is it. The computers are taking over. Uh, heading to the right, heading out, and we're going to have a little chat with our school monitor, and the achievement for completing chapter 3 will be done. Man, she genuinely looks like she's going to just twirl something up inside you, and you're not going to like it. So, AI mayhem, there we go. Completed episode 3. So, now what we're going to do is return to our dorm, and sleep in our bed to end the day. What a day. All you want to do is try and learn some proper awesome <laughs> dodgeball moves. You know, the five Ds. Dodge, dick, duck, dip, dive, duck, dick, dodge and dick again. Hello, we're doing, we got a battle with computers and stuff. So obviously heading over the bridge, down and to the left when you get to the smiley area. Heading upstairs, going to sleep, saving your game. And well, yeah, I, th I, th I think it's well deserved. Ah, I didn't realize the uh, Windows 98 computer was Nino's dad, Nino the Oxo Cube head. Uh, so what does that make Nino then? Does that make him kind of like a, like an iPad or something, like a crap pad? I don't know. Funny stuff. So what we need to do then? We've got a little secret admirer apparently. So somebody wants a bit of this quiff, man. Somebody else wants the old uh, sniff finger of life. So, well. We can't deny them, can can we? But of course, it is a new day, so there are going to be a whole bunch of fights that we're going to do. And it's going to start right now. Uh, basically, uh, I'll side with ketchup. If you side with pineapple, then please... Well, I still, I'll still, i still love you anyway, but you disgust me ever so much. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, kick these guys' asses, and of course, we're going to grab the pineapple... The, ooh, the pizza with ketchup. Because, like I said, uh, you know, pizza, a pineapple with pizza is just... And if anyone says that's refreshing, man, well, you know what? Taking a dump is refreshing as well, but you don't see me putting that on pizza, do you? So, anyway. So, so we had... To, so we've got a pizza slice with ketchup. We needed to do that fight anyway. That's all good. But we can now head up, and we can head up over the bridge. And so, like I said, we're obviously not going to go straight to the school yet. We've got a couple of fights. We're going to get some XP and some money. So what we're going to do, head past the infirmary there, onto the courtyards, and uh, interact with this guy. Another little fight. And once this guy's taken care of then, hop over the fence with an epic jump, head up just a little bit, and speak to this angry looking horse teeth girl. Get another fight on.
And we're going to be coming up to another fight. So just by the score, we're going to talk to a rematch guy. And this is going to, of course, be the fourth time. So it should be episode four, which means this should be the fourth time that you are beating him. He should be on level 20. So again, he's getting stronger, but, you know, <laughs> not strong enough, apparently. My friend, you need some steroids in you or something if you want to be good at this game. So, I mean, imagine being this hardcore that we need to go out looking for fights just because we are so good at dodgeball. So we're going past the school. We are going to head down the next set of steps right here, and we're going to the right. The <laughs> girl on the right is waiting for a fight, and we are just... <laughs> Apparently, we are talking to the wrong people. So, yeah. To the right, there she is. Give her a little whack with your balls, and... Well, it depends where, but she might be happier that with that as well. We'll be happy. The Windows monitors will not be happy though, I'm sorry. Beat them anyway. So, a couple of things we're going to be doing, plus we're going to be coming up to another missable achievement. So, what we're doing then first is heading to the school on the left. There it is, nice big red building. Looks a lot better than my old crappy school used to be. But that is probably just South Wales, uh, South Wales schools for you, to be honest. So we need to head here. we got two fights that we need to do. Um, and of course, nobody else passes except for us because we are hardcore. we got that Tails Quiff. And we got that epic fingering ability. That throwing ability. Kick ass and we'll be able to get past anyway. Whoops, got a lot of, uh, got, got a little drop out there, but we're all good. When we're doing that, we're heading upstairs to the right. Well, it doesn't matter, right or left, makes no difference. Um, but here, oh, Makako, bad X man, bad X man. Um, now we need to go to Professor Makako's class, Mikako. And the, uh, this one is past the crown, and it's on the uh, door left of the crown one right there at the very end. And so what we're going to do then, we're going to end up in a fight in the car park. Now what's going to happen is there's going to be cars that go, or one car that goes back and forth. Now to get the catastrophe achievement, we need to beat these guys without being hit or run over by a car. So on the left, as you can see, so just make sure to avoid the car. So as soon as you see it, left or right hand side of the screen, there you go. It's at the bottom for me this time. Um, so hopefully as soon as you see it, just avoid it as best as you can. Luckily for me there... It does just go straight past you if you get out or if there's another bit of something else happening in the match. Um, but yeah, so again, plenty of opportunities to do this in this particular episode. Um, but if it comes to the point where you're about to beat them and you've been hit or anything and you want to get it out of the way, you can just press restart. You can restart the match and just keep going until you don't get hit by a car. Which again will always be nice because it's a bit, it's a bit difficult, you know, trying to run over kids when they're polite, trying to play dodgeball. That is pretty. That is just angry. That's angry. Why would you do that? <laughs> anyway, collectible bin when we get to Pref uh, Professor Mikoko's class, and there is going to be one on the right, one on the left, right here, uh, with the carrot cake. And what we're going to do now, we're not actually going to be doing the S class challenges just yet. A few more things we're going to do first. And this first one is we're going back into the crowns, uh, the crown classroom. We're going to head up, and there's going to be another. You'll have to do a little jump and a little bang, and then we can get that pineapple juice, that sweet, 
tasty pineapple juice. That is where pineapple belongs, in juice, not on a pizza. I'm just saying, just saying, maybe we've all got a quiet taste. I don't judge you, pineapple pizza lovers. I love you. Do not judge. So, heading all the way over to the right this time, past the principal's office, and we are actually going to head up to the rooftop of the school since we've done what we've needed to do. Now, there is a chest just on the right-hand side of the stairwell, which you can't see, but once again, we're going to be leaving that until the very end of the game. Just like the one in the dorm's basement, we are going to be leaving that at, uh, at the risk of do, uh, having a potential glitch. But we are going to get this one, this collectible chest right here, just past the car, or just in front of the car, and then we can speak to Big Boris, right? Meow. Hooray! So we've just beaten Boris, and basically, I assume this is his sister. They can't be. It can't be his missus. But basically, Suniko has joined our team. We do still have to fight and beat Suniko because we are getting her counter move. Um, and I say it can't be Boris's missus because otherwise it'll be like, you know, uh, Kirk and Nuan from The Simpsons, Milhouse's parents. You know, apparently they're married when they look exactly like brother and sister, which is weird. Anyway, do this a couple of times, and there we go. And then eventually it will end, and we can move on again. So then, what's next on the agenda? Since we are in God Mode, what can we do next? Oh, we're bringing the letter to the lab, so that means we're going to the wooded area. So, everyone's been fingered out by us for the minute bald and fingered out, so we are going to head to the lab. So, up into the forest then. Now, I believe there are a bunch of fights that we are going to be doing. Um, so, we're going to head down towards the screen, down the ramp, head towards you again, and we're going to head to the left, grab this bow, Go through the log, and we're going to the right this time. And like I said, there are a couple, luckily they're not the Windows 98 computers, they are just regular, angry, horse-teethed looking people. So, you know what to do. And if you don't, then how the hell have you got this far in the game so far? <laughs> So that's the only fight we're going to be doing for the moment then, before we head back to the lab. There she is, old Naomi. Uh, but we are going to actually be fighting her, you know, if we can actually speak to her. Naomi, or no, no Emmy. D whatever, just, just beat her. Well, I, I mean, hopefully nobody takes that bit out of context. <laughs> So we've beaten Noemi, Nuimi, but we're not heading into the lab just yet. We are going to be grabbing one more fight. We're just going to speak to Noemi one more time there, and that gives us a side quest. So just make sure to speak to her again, get the side quest up, and then, we, like I said, we're not going into the lab just yet. We're heading to the left and up the steps, and up, burn, up, burn, up, and all the way up, and then we're going to get involved into another fight. A lot of people like fights in this school. What is that about? Can we all just be friends and love each other? That's cute.
And so once we are done from here, what we can do is just go down a little bit and go to the next right here. I actually, actually accidentally went down a little bit far. Sorry about that. But we're heading to the right. We're going to get into another fight, as is the norm. So heading to the right, heading to the right. Gonna kick ass, get in another fight. Head down towards the screen, down this little ramp here, up and through the grass. And here is the next fight. Check these out. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, you wanted to show me your electric balls. Oh. It's not what I had in mind, but still. I mean, thanks for showing me your balls, but, uh, you know, we'll, um, well, maybe I'll come back. Maybe I was a little intrigued. Anyway, heading down the screen, through the grass, past the log, to the right, and there is going to be another fight that we're going to get into. There he is. Oops. <laughs> They are actually pretty cool dodgeballs. Um, ice, electric, and fire. Basically the three legendary starter Pokemon. Uh, heading back to the lab, we're gonna speak to Noemi again. We're gonna fight her with each of the balls. So you need to grab each of your balls and put them inside Naomi. Or, or, or hit them against Noemi. Well, whatever everyone prefers, really. Um, but I do think it is quite Quite, like, you know, these little neat additions of different dodgeballs and everything like that. I think that is pretty cool. Even if this will just be the next Pokemon game. Um, but with Pokemon instead of dodgeballs. That is what I think anyway. So we've done the side quest now for Naomi. That was just doing for the three fights. Getting the couple of bunch of dodgeballs. And with that we can now actually head inside the laboratory. Really. The laboratory and speak to the, our old onion-headed pal, Chester Roney. So, a lot of fighting, a lot of talking, that's all done. Now what we're going to do is talk to Lunch Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Then grease me up, woman! Um, I, I hope I'm not going to say that every single time, but obviously we're just going to head up all the way towards the screen uh, before we head all the way to the right. And obviously we're going to be heading towards the cafe now in the skew. So when we get here then obviously we're just going to head all the way to the right past the school and up to the cafe. You should know which one it looks like by now, especially with this one because as usual it's never that easy. We've got a whole bunch of Windows 98 computers outside, which of course results in another fight.
And finally, once that one is done, we're going to head inside. We're going to talk to Lunch Lady Doris. Have you got any goodies? And a little bit of conversation before... Oh, free snacks to whoever wins. Right, yeah, I'll take that. I, I'll play dodgeball for some free snacks. Just let me get my god mode on and we'll be good to go. So we've got our money, XP, and we've got our free snacks. Now what we need to do is look for Boris back into the woods. So, well, guess where we're going to head? That's right, we're going to head down, <laughs> not into the woods. <laughs> Actually, we are. We are going to be heading into the woods there. For some reason, i done a weirdly epic jump, which failed miserably. So into the woods then. Um, he's not too far. It is in. He is in a part of the forest that we have been before, that weird, creepy-looking area. Um, so what we're going to do is just head up, head to the left, grab some bow, and then just head down for now. To the left, to the down, and eventually just through the grass, and this is the area that he is in. So past this little bit, into the creepy part of the woods, and well, you know exactly what's coming. We've got STD Sonic Sister, and Weird Pirate Man. <laughs> Why do we have to settle things with violence? Can't we use words? Oh, school monitor. <laughs> oh, you coming out here for a jolly good time? I got the weed, you got the speed, you got the drink, I got the stink. Yeah. Anyway, so we need to head now to the principal's office up in the school. So obviously that is where we're heading. Head inside, grab another couple of balls, fill your balls up whenever you want. It's always good to keep full, full chunky balls, because everyone likes full and chunky balls. It's, it's, it's just an unwritten rule. It's just what what people like. I've heard on TikTok. Um, no, I hate TikTok. TikTok is crap. Anyway, into the principal's bit. There, we're going to be speaking to Big Boris and what I assume is his mother is the school counselor. And once that done, once that is done, that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be attending our tournament match. Yes! So you think that we're nearly done with the game, and the problem is we are roughly about two hours away. Two and a bit hours away from finishing the game, actually. So not quite done yet. Not quite. So head down, and obviously we're going to be heading all the way to the right now, into the dome area. Into the domer area. Straight through the doors. Lo and you know exactly what's coming up. A lot of dialogue, bit of fighting, and everyone is happy, especially the principal.
absolutely simple blood. I tell you what, I would have done that legitimate as hell if I really wanted to. But of course I don't really want to because that would have been a tricky fight as well. <laughs> so with that then, we should now have completed episode 4. So we know what we need to do now. We've completed the episode. We've won the tournament thanks to our fantastic god mode. So we're heading all the way to the left. Crashing into everyone. Ah, oh, skillage in the village. That's skill, that is. Skill! And once we cross the bridge, head down to the smiley area. Whoops. Uh, we are actually heading all the way down. There is a collectible bin right there if you want to grab that as well, which for some reason I get confused about. But we, we can grab it as well, so... I didn't just almost mess up for no reason for once. So, obviously, what we're doing then, head up to your bedroom, save the game. Um, don't, le don't let Balloon eat what you get undressed, because that shit is creepy. And happy days, we can begin episode 5. So then, as we begin this episode, we are going to actually be grabbing another missable achievement so soon, and it is all going to be all to do with our air-headed balloony friend right there. I, I wonder, if, has he got a skull and a brain and stuff? I, I don't imagine so, if he is just a balloon for a head. Anyway, so we need to be getting into a couple of fights, and we need to mess around with the accessibility options just a little bit. So the first fight we are going to get into is going to be on the right, roughly around Meow somewhere. Okay, so there we go. So you can save your game there if you want to. Um, I always do, just as a precaution, a couple of times throughout each chapter. Put your difficulty settings and damage taken up to about 80%. Now, what we need to do is basically we need to use 10 items on one character or team member that loves them. Not just likes, that loves them. So as you can see there, every uh, particular team member has their dislikes and their likes and their loves. So we're going to be sticking with Balloony. So we're going to look at Balloony. Um, he's already... He's got full HP and everything. So obviously we've got a load of items that we can see that Balloony will love. Now if you've been following the game so far, you should have roughly around the same or very close to similar items that I have in terms of collecting everything from the bins, etc. Uh, so we can revive um, a team member. This is, this is basically Pokemon. So... You can use different things to revive team members to quarter, half, full health, you know, everything like that. So, what we need to do then, um, go ahead and what we need to do is immediately press the right trigger and swap it to um, Balloony. Now, the way I do this is I just wait until we get smashed up, basically. And if you've got a ball with Balloony, you can actually go to the other side and he will drop the ball. Or you can just throw it at him, that's fine, it, it makes no difference. But as long as Balloony is on minimum health slash basically fainted and knocked the hell out, and that is what we are going to be needing. Because we, like I said, we're going to be needing to use the 10 items on Balloony. So, again, what you can do is obviously, f by now you can use the accessibility options or just smash them up if you wanted to with his little health. But... I just waited until he got knocked out. So now we can basically just go ahead and smash and crash. Um, again, if you want to put your damage taken back down to zero, you're more than welcome to do that. But again, it should be easy enough. These fights are usually easy enough to just smash and destroy. So, Mina, as one would do, cheers when she wins. She doesn't sniff her finger and winks at the camera. It's not creepy at all. Mina actually cheers. So what we need to do then, now we can go back into our items, and obviously what I do then, Balloonie's knocked out, so we, what I do is 
we are going to revive Balloony, but with one that has 25% of our full HP. So we're going to do that with Balloony. He loves them, so that is what that is why we do it. And then what we can use is the an item that recovers just 25% of Balloony's health, because of course we need to be using 10 items. So if you're going to use items that completely put his health all the way back up then it just takes a little bit longer to do and nobody's happy with that so we're going to use a couple of chocolate truffles right here balloony loves them and of course we've just so already then we've used uh five items on balloony so we need to go and do another couple of fights and just do the same tactic do the same trick uh, so head to the right um, there is a collectible bin over here as well if you want to just grab one another cheeky lemon juice which, again, if that, that's as bitter as balls, that one. Lemon juice? Yeah. Uh, anyway, there is a fight just up past the bridge here. So, again, it's the same sort of thing. We're going to pass it straight to Blooney, pressing the right trigger. We're going to get knocked out. And then, as soon as uh, Blooney's knocked out, just smash the rest of the guys in. And let's go and use some items. And there we go then. So, once the fight is done, we're going to press start or Y, go back into our items menu. And we're going to be doing the same thing then. So, we need to recover or revive um, Balloony. But, of course, if we don't obviously have a 25% one, we do. We should have a uh, cola drink there. So, we can use... Oh, but it, he does dislike it, actually. Sorry, my bad. So, uh, but, but we use it anyway, uh, just because it's only 25%. And then we can go back to the things he loves... In order to uh, get his recovering HP up. So we're going to use a couple of tangerines this time. That sh one should be fine. But I think that makes it... Uh, I think that makes it nine. So we've got to do one more fight and do the same tactic. And there should be a fight on the left hand side. Roughly coming up. There he is. Just at the top there. So we're going to fight this guy. And we need one more item. So again it's the same tactic. Pass the balloony. Get knocked out. Use the items after. And welcome back to or from the death. Back into the items menu then. So now we can just revive Balloony with 50% uh, of HP if he's got something that he loves. Again, if not, then that's fine. We can just revive him with something or anything anyway. We've got a lot of stuff that recovers, the he uh, recovers our HP. Uh, but we can use this vitamin mix. That will revive him to 50%. Job done. 
and then if it doesn't unlock the achievement by now, I think it might just be one more, so we can use a couple of watermelon slices there on balloony bobs. Oh, or maybe not. Um, <laughs> okay, we're going to use a couple of chocolate truffles, actually. There it is, then. So a couple of chocolate truffles. It wouldn't, wouldn't have made no difference. You could have used that watermelon slice as well. But that should be the achievement. So hopefully you followed along, you know, easily enough, quite uh, well enough. Uh, but we can put our damage taken back down to zero. Now we are done with that. But yeah, so hopefully that one was sort of easy enough to follow there. And that we've got the achievement. And we can now swiftly move on. Um, now the current objective does say don't be late for Fortunato's class. But, I mean... We've basically just been getting achievements and fighting everyone, so we're going to be very late, but hey, makes no difference. We are God Mode, and nobody pisses around with God Mode. So now they've got these um, sticky balls, <laughs> um, which, you know, makes us stick and makes us slower. But again, that makes no difference because we can just grab onto everyone's balls and lob them. <laughs> so many easy puns in this game, it's hilarious. So, once we've done that then, we can now skip on through. So again, if you didn't have the uh, town item achievement there, you could have got it there. And again, there are a couple more fights that we need to be doing, so you can't really miss that one as long as you know what you're doing there. So, another fight. Horse Teeth and Windows 98. So we're going to fudge Professor Fortunato, as soon as we're done we'd head hop over the fence and we're going to fight these two guys in the courtyard. I mean, we're already late, you can't get any later really can you? We're already going to be in enough trouble so, make some difference, just keep on fighting for now. Get your balls all sticky. <laughs> And then from here, what we're going to do is head all the way to the right and go to the orange courtyard and do another fight. For some reason, I end up getting, somehow getting lost. And all you got to do is just go to the right, not into the school, down these steps, and the orange courtyard is literally across from here. And for some reason, I keep talking to these guys. I'm getting confused. But just go straight right, not straight down, straight right, and hey, congratulations there, buddy. We've made it. <laughs> Took our time, though, huh? And just before we forget then, we better go and speak to and beat Rematch Lad. So again, past the school on the left here. Stop running into me, you bunch of douchebags. And there we go then. So make sure you do have the rematch guy beaten. So this again should be the fifth time, level 25, fifth time that we are kicking this guy's butt.
So you see, he does get a lot trickier, and he does get incredibly tricky uh, um, from the eighth episode. But of course, God Mode, we are hardcore, etc. So we've got the peach juice or whatever we just took off him. Head into the school, grab another couple of balls if you want. And what we're going to do is head into the bathroom. We're going to we're going to do a little bit of playing with another young lad. Uh, I meant dodgeball now. We're going to play ball. We're going to play with another balls lads. Another lad. Bo Anyway, before I make a fool out of myself anymore, we're going to play this side quest, a weird place for a game. But what we need to do, basically, is we've both got one ball each. Now, what you can do is nothing really happens. You can either throw it, and he either grabs the ball, and then he just throws him back at you. Um, but obviously, that, that's the main aim of the game. We've got to hit him, and that's it. We get tight underwear. So we're playing with someone else's balls in the bathroom and he gives us his underwear if we win. That's not dodgy at all, right? <laughs> so do that one then. Now we need to play level 2. So it's very easy. So all we're going to do basically is catch and we're going to keep catching until we get all of his balls. So he's got two balls which we need in our hands. <laughs> and um, as soon as we get all of his balls... We can then just stick him back at him. So we can just keep throwing. And eventually one ball will hit him. So again, if we run out of balls, it doesn't matter. We can literally just keep trying to catch. Um, it's obviously random at how long or how quick this may be for you. But we're just going to keep on catching his balls. Uh, luckily, it's not the sticky ones that we've been used to. But we can just keep doing that. So you can either catch the one and then throw it. And then catch another one and then throw it. It, it literally makes no difference. It's very, very easy enough, this one. Anyway, so again, we need to play level three. I never thought I'd be playing with another boy's balls in the bathroom, to be honest. Or oh, I wouldn't be saying that out loud anyway. That that wasn't the plan for this game. But they managed to do it. So <laughs> here we go. So just keep throwing, keep catching and throwing. We've got all three bits of his underwear from the bathroom. Again, something else I didn't think I'd be saying. And <laughs> we get the achievement. Can't I have some privacy? So that one, once again, very easy. But with that one done, we can now um, move on and contemplate what we just done in the bathroom. Girls, nothing happened in there, I swear. I, I, I just went for a mega diarrhea poop, that's all. Honestly, you gotta believe me. I didn't play with his dodgeballs, god damn it. Anyway, heading to the first door when we get up stairs. And we're going to be doing a little bit of dialogue skipping. And a little bit of um, normal fighting. Except this time apparently we're not doing any fighting. So huh, just misled you there. My bad, my bad. But you know where we're going now. We're going to head, as you can see, by the current objective. We're heading to the cafeteria. So grab some bows. Get out of there. Head to the right. And go into the cafeteria for some quality family time. And just tell... Tell your family what you've been doing. Fingering everyone just to win and then sniffing it at the end of every win. So speak to Lunch Lady Doris. So there we go, we've just won. We've got a new team now, so I haven't really been uh, paying attention to what's been going on, to be honest, but apparently Nino, Mina, and Balloonie, are, we, we've had a fight, I assume. So now we've got Boris's weird Simpsons missus slash sister. Oh, there they are, look. Oh, all pissed off. Oh, oh God, oh God, we're in a fight with our friends. 
So yeah, there's Boris's weird missus slash sister, you know, the Kirk Luan thing from The Simpsons. Don't know what she is supposed to be. But we're going to fight our old pals anyway. Amina looks pissed off. And with this fight then done, you should now get the, um, reaching level 30. So now we should have reached level 30. Again, if you haven't got it yet, do not panic too much. If you've been following what I'm doing for the, you know, for the majority and the most part, you won't be too far behind. And there are actually items we can use, uh, in order to get us up to level 30 anyway. So do not panic if you still haven't got it yet, you will get it. Um, but now what we can do is just head into Fortunato's classroom, the first one on the left, and we're going to speak to Big George. Now that is a chin you don't want to mess around with. Uh, you can choose any dialogue option there. I just said, do you know who chose our baby? And shows uh, he's at the daycare. Um, the, the Professor X from uh, Wish, if you ordered him from Wish, sort of comes in as a little chat. And we get some sand after all that as well for some particular reason. So obviously you know exactly where we need to go. We got a sample of something. Luckily, it's sand, and we haven't got a stool sample for the lab. Not that we need one, of course. <laughs> but, you know, that is where we're going. We are heading up to the woods, or the forest, whatever you want to call it, and heading to the lab. But, of course, it is, like I said, a new episode. There are, so there are going to be new people to fight, and we're going to do that straight away. And he just says, exclamation mark. Well, thank you. Riveting. <laughs> So like I said then, before we head to the lab, we're going to be doing some fights, so we are going down, not past the steps, uh, we're going past the steps, not on the steps, down towards the screen, down the right side of the ramp, in the grass, and fight Angry Eminem. Next, head down through the grass, fight again. Next, head through the log, <laughs> down the log, all the way to the left, and guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be, oh, that's right, we're going to be fighting again. How strange for a fighting dodgeball game. Next, we are heading just up and to the left, into the grass, and we're going to be fighting again. Man, this is exhausting. I wonder Otto's always so bloody knackered, man. But thankfully, then, this is the last one. Now, we are actually just going to head to the laboratory. So, obviously, it's on the right-hand side, just past everyone being fingeredly knocked out there. And then a little bit of conversation is going to happen. So, we need to speak to Noemi. Noemi? Naomi. Whatever the hell your name is. We're going to speak to her. And now, we need to go all the way back to the school. 
or at least into the school area. So a bit of conversation is going to happen, and obviously what we need to do now is just head down, right, and just head back to the uh, school area. Man, we crash a lot. So obviously just head through the log, through the grass and up the ramp, up the left side hand ramp, and up, and then just go all the way to the right until we get to the other side. Like a really bad why did the chicken cross the road joke. So then, Mikoko is uh, needing us, so that's where we're going to head, obviously, we're into the school, heading up to the right, and then Professor Mikoko's class is to the left, and it is on the, it's past the third door, past the crown, oh, but we are actually getting into another fight, as soon as we get this fight, head into the door on the left, and everyone's happy, again, eventually. God damn battle, man. Go away. So, what we're going to do then is obviously speak to Mr. Mikoko, and we are going for another set of S-Rank challenges. So, if you remember the tactic from earlier on, what we need to do then, uh, we're going to be have balls thrown at us, and what we need to do is actually just quickly smash this car up as quick as we can. I believe it's about 30 seconds, either 25, 30 seconds. You've got to do it in under to get the S-Rank challenge. So... Obviously, it's always worth making sure that your strength is up to the max, and you've got items that will max out your strength massively. Um, obviously, it's got the HP of the car there on the right, so pretty sure it's under 30 seconds anyway. Yeah. So then that is the easy part done, we're all good, we've obviously got to do medium and hard, we've got a front gate key, which is, hey, I mean it knackers us out, but it's what we've got to do. Now what, we ha uh, what we're going to do then, as soon as we get past the dialogue, we can go into our equipment menu, and not the item menu, we know we've got the front gate key and a bunch of other crap. Go into the equipment menu, <clears throat> and then if you want to increase your strength, Basically, uh, we're going to get rid of the two uh, slots, but these uh, embarrassing, stinking, tight underwears, the strength increases uh, massively, hugely, but our HP goes down to one. So we can actually uh, use, I mean, obviously it doesn't matter because we're in complete god mode, but if you wanted to do that, which it's probably worth doing for this one, our strength gets increased massively to like almost 200% or something with uh, the two different types of underwear. One embarrassing. One tight, stick the disgusting unwashed <laughs> panties on you, and as you can see, we've got one HP, but like I said, it does not matter because our strength is ridiculous now. So just keep slamming them dodgeballs into the car, and you should easily get this and beat this down before 30 seconds and get yourself a cheeky S rank. Do this one for hard, life is good, everyone is just enjoying life. <laughs> And there it is then, we are just super hardcore, hard difficulty done, less than 20 seconds to destroy a car, and we've got the achievement as well for getting all the s rank challenges on strength. So, and we get some flaming skull earrings as well, just because that is also badass. Anything with a flame and a skull is badass, with a flaming skull is extra badass. So, we're going to head down and out of the skill. 
What has happened to my skill? Gonna pick up some bows. Always, like I said, always make sure that your balls are full. And then we can just release them later on. Um, <laughs> that means two things. Otherwise, all we're gonna do is just head all the way down. Uh, see where these crowns are. This is basically the front of the school. We're gonna head down. And now we can actually get into the parking lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, as per usual, it's a new area, it's a new day in a new area, so there's obviously going to be a bunch of fights. So, well, do it, fight him, punch him, stick a bomb their head, etc. Also, this is a very good opportunity, if you haven't got the Cartastrophe achievement by now, it's, uh, this whole car parking thing, car park lot fights, this is another great opportunity to get that. Remember, you've got to not get hit by the car. Or, um, and that will unlock you the achievement. So I didn't get hit again at all, so that would have been enough to unlock the achievement. Again, if you don't want to keep going on, just restart the match if you end up getting hit, and you'll get it that way anyway. So uh, we've beaten that match, like I said, a couple of uh, ways to go, and there's two collectibles we need to be grabbing as well, collectible chests, so keep on smashing. Tee -hee. Now the next fight we're going to be doing is, there's one to the right, but there is one just behind this car as well. So make sure to be uh, picking this guy up and then throwing him out of a moving window or something. Or just shove a dodgeball in his head. But just make sure to grab this one as well. Uh, you can miss him obviously, but it is purely for XP and the money, as is the usual. As we sniff our finger, I bet our new friend is Suniko is wondering why, 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 why do you sniff your finger after you've just beaten someone? That's so bizarre. Anyway, this should be the last um, chick to fight now, This the last girl to fight. And then we can go ahead and go back to the left, grab the two chest collectibles.
I mean, as if being pelted with dodgeballs wasn't enough, we also need to uh, avoid getting run over about six to eight times. Right, tidy. So we've uh, fought everyone that we can. Now, you can see, as you can see, there's one collectible on the uh, car to the right of us, but there is also one in the upper left-hand corner. So that is what we're going to go for first. And we get a nice hand buzzer, which is always great for pranks, eh? Always great for eight-year-old pranks. And then we can just jump up onto this green car, or yellow car. I can't even really tell which color that is. My eyes are broken. And we can get the pink ring. <laughs> if you think about it, that is uh, that can mean two things as well, if you think really hard about it. Or maybe I just overthought that. So anyway, with the two collectible chests done, and all of the people that we fought and beaten, we can now head into the sewer. Uh, don't worry, it's not as stinky as disgusting as always. Uh, there are a bunch of people that uh, we don't have to fight. Uh, this is basically uh, Tony's bar, so we need to speak to Tony, or Big Tony. They missed a trick, they should have called him Fat Tony, but that's also cute. If we head up to the left, we're going to see another collectible chest, so make sure to grab this one. And it gets us the big iron helmet. I had iron helmet once. I uh, still do, funnily enough. <laughs> right, so anyway... We are basically going to have to fight a cat, and again, it's just the same as normal. Pick up the ball, press X to smash the cat into pieces. Not literally, of course, um, but this cat will become our friend and join our team at the end of this. So, smash, destroy, love, we'll get the achievement for Shoy joining our team. And, with the, remember, we, see, we have seen a couple of collectible chests with locks on them. Basically, this is the cat that will sort it out for us. So... Happy days. Now we can get every collectible chest, but like I said, we're not going to get every particular single one. There are a couple we are going to leave um, until the very, very end of the game, until we do all the story mode and everything. So with that one done, we can now head back up. We need to talk to Big Fat Tony again. And obviously press double tap Y to keep smashing through everything. And now we can just leave. So head all the way to the left and leave the Tonys of the Dennis. So oh, quite a bit of dialogue is going to happen here. We got Mina, who's all like, "Oh, hey, what are you up to?" I'm just with my new uh, butt buddy. Sorry, is that cute? Uh, we need to talk. As soon as all this dialogue is done, we just need to talk to Pirate Head right here. Uh, no fight's going to happen, but we are just going to nip off back to this queue. <laughs> So, once we get here then, what we need to be doing is heading to the wooded area. So, obviously, that's up the very top, to the left-hand side of the skew. Past rematch guy right there, he's still... Maybe we must have fudged him up hard if he's still going like that. There are two fights that's going to happen here, so... You know, enjoy him. Enjoy knocking the teeth out of him. So into the forest we go then, we need to track down Squid, which is all pirate head, you know, the fake, the Wish, <laughs> the Johnny Depp from Wish. And if we just head up these steps right here, this is a new area that we haven't gone to yet. You can jump and get the new collectible bin, but a cheese bread will always go down well. And then we can just head up, this is where Squid is staying, but of course you know exactly what's coming up. Fight!
And yeah, that was pretty easy then. So Squid was pretty much pathetic, even with his big old set of balls right there. His quadruple balls. Um, this is automatically going to happen. Smash through the dialogue. And then eventually we're going to come out here and we're going to have to go now to the library. We've got Kit Kat. Thank you, Kit Kat. Very, very interesting conversation, I assume. But it is the library we're going to need to get to for the new objective. But what we're actually going to do first is go and grab all of the locked chest collectibles. So the first one is, if we just head to the left slightly, and then head over the fence right here, the first one is just, again, to the left of the bench. So what will happen then is you interact with it and the cat will open it up for us. And we can now... Uh, press X to smash it open. So we get a first AAA battery, which is nice. Could have bought them from the shop, which would have just been easier, but that's also fine. So head to the right, past the school and down the steps, past uh, Blue Head right here, and then we just go into the right. Eventually, we get into the dome section of life. And here we are. So to the dome section, we're going into the dome. Domer! And then if we uh, stick with the left-hand side, jump up, Past the steps, there is going to be another locked chest for us right here, which again, that one was just super easily missable. You wouldn't even think to look there. I didn't anyway, which <laughs> really pissed me off. Anyway, we got some nearsighted sports glasses now, which is tidy. Now we can just jump down and head on the hell out of there. Right, next, if we just go behind, we can jump over the left and head back to the school grounds. Rather than going down the left, which, you know... Probably makes not that much <laughs> difference, couple of seconds, but head all the way to the left for the time being and we're going to the infirmary. So you can go this way or you can just go all the way to the left and then down, but basically we're just going to the uh, cheap Pokemon Center, which is <laughs> where the next locked treasure chest is. So there we go, so we've got one, uh, there is, again there is a chest in this area. With the, the boy getting knocked out of sitting next to. But we're going to leave that again for the end of the game. Just once again as a precaution. So head to the right into the next room. Press the X button on it. The cat will open it up. And then we can smash it open. Providing we don't miss like an absolute noob. Twice. Three times. So, you know, maybe just stand away at four times. Jesus, what? The? Five times? Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on? So eventually you will hit it. And eventually you will get the first aid kit. So, like I said, we're going to leave this this uh, tre uh, this collectible chest in the in that area. We're going to leave that one for now, and we'll come back to that one. So, next of all, we're going straight up back to the wooded area. And the first thing we're going to do then is just head up back up to where we just fought Squid, the old uh, Johnny Depp from Wish, if you ordered him from Wish. So, straight up the steps and right around. And here is the next collectible treasure chest. The one that is locked. Then we've got a secret note. Err, maybe it's him who fancies me. Which I'm not surprised with our apparent fingering and quiff abilities. We are something special. So head through the grass and to the left now. And just keep going to the left. Pick up the ball if you so wish. Head down. And to the left and then all the way down again. Basically we're going into that sort of creepier forested area in just a moment but we're gonna head to the right um, and we're coming up to the lab now so head inside of the lab there is going to be another couple of chests for us to collect not in this room but we've now got access to the back room and there we go so we do have the one food collectible bin ting to get a bit of peach juice okay that's tidy and there are two collectible chests again that we would have needed the cat for anyway so we couldn't have come in here earlier so you got some small size gloves. I need large. I'm I'm large, large everywhere. Honestly, it's not a lie. Um, ish. So two collectible, two lock collectible chests there. Free set of headphones as well. Oh, man, I wish there was some collectible chests like this in the real world. Just picking up some random Dr. Dre beat headphones, like that would go down well. Anyway, we can now leave the lab, and then what we're going to do is head to the left, all the way down the ramp. Bam, and then we're going to come up to the other side. Basically, it's like the other side of the school area where we're going to find, obviously, yet another collectible chest. Look at that fancy wristwatch. Mate, we are going to be loaded. Anyway, head back into the wooded area now, and we're going to go past this broken up, bam, broken beat down boy. Go to the left, down and up the ramp, and like I said, you remember that we have seen this one a couple of times earlier on. So, go and whack that 
shit open to get Mascara de la Chador, which also sounds very expensive. So, uh, there's nothing actually in the creepier part of the forest. So with that, I think we can just now head back. Um, and we are going to head back to the school, not going all the way to the right, but we're just going to head down right here. Now we're back into the same area. So I think we are done for the time being. Yes. Oh, smash into stuff, whatever you want, you know, it's all fun. It's all gravy, baby. Uh, but, like I said, we're going to head down to the smiley area, to the right, and now we're actually going to head into the library and look for Nino, Oxo Cube. So, not a sign of Nino, so we automatically get here. We now, now need to go and look for the Oxo Cube at the cafeteria. So obviously it's just past the school right here where rematch guy is still dazed and dizzy. We must have done something. <laughs> we must have broken his brain. Unlucky mucker. So here is the Mr. Cube. Lunch Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Um, everything's kicking off and going down. And obviously we need to restore the honor of Lunch Lady Doris. So once we've restored the honour of Lunch Lady Doris, did she have any grease? That grease me up, woman! We're just going back into the school, which is of course on the left here. And again, grab some bows if you would so wish, but obviously as you can see there, by the current objective, we need to turn our assignment in to process Professor Futurama. And he is on the third door on the left, oh sorry, he is on the, uh, no, first door, sorry. Sorry, sorry, my bad. The, the door on the right of the crown. There he is, Professor Futurama. And that will be um, episode 5 done. So that's we have now completed episode 5. Now we can head back to the dorm and sleep in our bed to end the day so we can get episode 6 on the go now. So you should know where that is by now. Pass the infirmary over the bridge, down to the smiley area and to the left. You, you, you got this. You got this, girl. Boy. And here we are then, episode 6, hooray, we've got this, 7 and 8 left to go. And basically what we're going to be doing is getting a lot of the other missable achievements in terms of spending the bollars, slash dollars, slash pounds, whatever you want to call it. But it is bollars in this game, which genuinely is hilarious to me. So we need to be spending 100 bollars at the cafeteria, Big Tony's Den, and the Dodge Shop. Plus we're going to be getting all the S rank medal challenges on the defense as well. So, a couple of things are just going to happen, a bit of dialogue as per the usual. Uh, but we're going to have to inquire about the letter at the cafeteria, but of course, New Day, etc. Ho ho ho, here we go. You've got two hot babes going toe to toe. Oh, plus STD Sonic Sister.
Die, you keep your STDs away from me, sister of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Anyway, head back over the bridge until we get to the normal side. And there we go then. So as we roll over to the other side, we automatically get this side quest, the underground tournament. And what we're going to do, just before we forget, we're going to go and have a rematch with the rematch guy. So this should be the sixth time, of course, that you're facing him, just past the school. There he is. So give him another rematch. Stick the... <laughs> I mean, he looks like he's all pilled up in the eyeballs there, so we're just going to knock him out of him. And this is January where he actually got quite tough then. <laughs> so he got the moves, the counter moves, but now after that we're gonna head to the cafeteria, have another fight with the angry Eminem looking dude. So, I know it tells us the current objective, go to the cafeteria, etc, but we're not actually going to do that. We're going to go ahead and do the side quest first. Um, now, that is back in the parking lot. So, if you just head down to the parking lot there, right in the middle of the skew, or the skew area, there are a couple of people, I think, that we can fight. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is just head straight down. We, go, we are going to do the uh, Tony's Den Underground Tournament thing. Um, now, it's literally nothing... There's nothing else that is changing or anything like that. You literally just got to fight five people in a row. And all it entails is you grabbing the dodgeball, throwing it, winning. And do that five times until we get the ultimate prize. But we, the prizes get bigger with every time we win. So from now, again, you know what to do by now. Pick up a ball, smash it in the opponent's head. Hopefully it doesn't give him too much brain damage. Win the whole thing. Well, and that'll be that side quest complete. <laughs>
And there we go then, we've done this without steroids, without cheating, apart from the whole god mode invincibility thing. But apart from that, we've done it quite legitimately, which I find very, very impressive. Mm. <laughs> so, but we have won all five fights, so now what we get, we've got all the, all the bollery boos, and now we got the over-the-top armor, but that completes this side quest, more importantly. So now what we can do is actually just head out of here, and we are now actually going to head to the cafeteria to... Go and take a look at Lunch Lady Doris. Uh, have you got any grease? But more importantly, what we're going to be doing then, we're going to be saving our game. It does auto-save there anyway, but, but, but we're going to save it manually anyway, uh, because we're going to be spending a hundred bollers, <laughs> bollers, in the, in Lunch Lady Doris's shop, but we're going to need to keep that money for later on. So, we're going to get the achievement, browse the items, and you can literally just pick anything you want as long as it comes to a hundred bollery booze. So obviously, just go for the more expensive stuff there, just so it's um, just so it's all good and done. Uh, so you should, if you've been following the video, you should have roughly around the same, almost 250 bollars. Um, I would you go for the carrot cake? Already owned eight, but there's like up to 91 you can buy for 91 bollery booze. Same goes with the tangerine. So as long as you got over 100 bollars spent, we're obviously not going to need this. So we're not going to need all of them. So. Hungry for more, that achievement's unlocked, we can now go into the options menu. We're not going to be saving it again, because that would be silly. But we're going to go uh, quit to the title screen, load our save back in, obviously just make sure to remember which one it actually was. Um, now if you don't have enough bollers, if you haven't done that much fighting or anything like that, you'll just have to go and do um, some more fights until you get the $100 necessary. But like I said, if you've been following the video, you should be absolutely golden nuggets with it. We should be all cool. Right, so, there's our current objective. We're gonna meet up at the secret center of the tombstone of the forest. Does not sound dodgy at all. Uh, but the first thing we're actually going to be doing is heading to the car park lot. Again, there's no one to really fight here. We're just going back into big Tony Fat Tony's den. Which is all all cool with us, but we are going to be spending another hundred bollery booze right here at Big Tony's Den. We're not going to be saving it this time. We should have now enough money to do the both. Um, now there are plenty that you can buy um, for obviously different various reasons, um, but basically in the end, what we're all just going to do is spend a hundred bollars on orange juice. Fifteen dollars for orange juice, by the way. That is. Goddamn rip-off there, Big Tony. I suppose an underground den, though, does take the piss sometimes. So, we're just going to grab seven orange juices. That come to $105, and that will be the underground business achievement unlocked. Nice and tidy. Lovely. So, what we can actually use now, uh, those we can actually use those orange juices on Otto himself. It basically grants us 500 XP points. Which is the main reason we grabbed that one there. Um, the other ones have got other different stats, etc. But of course, we are trying to get to the level 50 achievement as quick as we can. So make sure you get the seven orange juices there. And that's going to pop us up a couple of levels as well there. Not Pokemon style at all, obviously. Hmm. And then when we've done all that then, um, we're just going to use the blueberry juice as well. Uh, so use a blueberry juice, use a vanilla milkshake as well. Just We're just going to try and get Otto up as much as we can, really. The rest will come in time. 
And we're going to use the watermelon juice as well, even though he dislikes it. It's tough titties, mate. Get it down your neck. And that should be okay then for Otto, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So we're all good. Everyone's happy. Get in my way, you sound beach. And then we can just head back out. <laughs> Okay then, so once we get out of here then, we, what we're going to do is now head to the Dodge Shop, which is by our dorm, and we're going to spend the last of our 100 bollars in the Dodge Shop as well. Again, this one particularly doesn't doesn't really particularly matter. Uh, so obviously head left here and head left over the bridge. Again, we're not going to be saving and reloading. we only done that with lunch, Lady Doris. Have you got any grease? Uh, because obviously we wouldn't have had enough money to do all of this. So head up now off the bridge into the old dog shop. There we go, and we're going to speak to Big Nose Carlos right here. Sorry, Carlos, because you have a big nose. And again, it's just the same thing. So buy the most expensive things that you can until it gets to the cheeky 100 bollar mark and the achievement unlocks. So again, it really doesn't matter what you uh, pick. It's all just a preference or until you get all of the achievements out of the way. Nice! So, there we go. So that one is done then. So we've got all of the achievements in regards to spending 300 bollary boos on Crayup. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're actually going to head to the wooded area now. We actually have to go to the forest now for the main objective anyway. So that is where we're going to head off. But of course, new day, etc. Just remember that there are going to be people that are going to want to kick our ass. Even though all we're doing... We're just going for a walk in the forest, nothing to do, just having a little bit of boredom. But, um, again, for, specifically for the XP and getting to level 50, make sure to fight everyone you can on the way past. So this time just head straight down, there's going to be a little cutscene with um, Purple Head right here. He's obviously sad somebody has died. Maybe it's his own Maybe it's his own dodgeball he's sad about. He looks very sad, why are you fighting when you're that sad? Anyway, we're going to have to kick his sad ass anyway, so do it. Now, I think what would have been easier in this game is if they just had everything all in one little section. Instead of having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You know what I mean? So this time we actually have to go back into the school. We have to prof ask Professor Fortunato Futurama about the old ghostly technique. But as per usual, we're going to head in, a couple of balls, and we've got three fights to crack on with. So, you know the drill. X button. Just, just kill him. Get him. Get him now.
And so then, with that one done, we can now just head upstairs to the left and we're going into Professor Futurama's classroom, the first one on the left. And basically what's going to happen is, we're going to do our final S rank challenges now. And basically it's all just about defending. So obviously in the real world, without God Mode Fantastic Cheats, we'd obviously just be pressing the B button at the correct time to uh, grab the ball. But as usual, what we're going to do is just wait a whole minute um, go in your accessibility options, put the damage taken up a couple of percent, die, and then just keep repeating until you get the easy, medium, and hard ones up. So yeah, just keep smashing it out until you get to a minute, and then go ahead and do it. That is where the S rank is.
And this is the one then. Damage taken, chuck it up by a couple of percent, completely die, and then that should now get us two achievements, the Timing Expert and the Teacher's Pet achievement. Mew, 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 mew. So there we go, that should be a that then. So now we don't have any more S-Rank challenges left to do. Like I said, thank God, because that, that would have been an absolute pain in the dick and ball hole to achieve <laughs> legit. Uh, I mean, yeah, we would have done that easy legit anyway, but you know what I mean? You might as well just help ourselves a bit, innit? So what we can do now is just head down, head down and out, grab a couple of bows if you want to. Now, you don't actually have to grab as much in the ways of the collectible bins with the food and everything. Uh, they come in handy, but not as much as when we actually needed it earlier. So now we're just going to get head all the way to the left. Because now we've got, we've got to search the bloody library. Why couldn't one person just tell us this from the start? Oh, you, your information? Yeah, in the library. Not... Oh, go up to the forest. Right, get... Go to the school. Right, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Right. Um, we're gonna fight... Have a little fight here with the onion-headed legend, the constipated lad, and Windows 98 broken computer. Although it does look a bit happier. Anyway, you know what to do. Kick ass. Alrighty, Roo, we're all done with here. Now we can just head into the library. Not a lot, again, that's going to go on in terms of fighting anyway. So we're going to talk to Library Doris. Have you got any books? And then when we're done with that, we can actually head down the stairs to the right. And we're going to have a couple of conversations. And then a... Uh, little, little, who are we going to get? We're going to get Kayabo. 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 Anyway, dude with the ginger quiff, he's going to join our team. That's going to unlock the next achievement. <laughs> Okay, let's see what the hell we've got to do then after we get the achievements. And now we actually have to go into the forest and we have to go on top of the school roof um, to search for a couple of items, the Spectres of the Forest and the Phantom Pusher. So what we're going to do first is actually go around the school's rooftop first, so you know what you do. Go over the bridge, head up to the school, head upstairs and then go all the way until the right. And then basically we're going to get a little fight scene happening. Now who saw that coming, hmm? So as per then, we have kicked the ass of everyone here. Again, you'd think that people would just be like, oh, that's Otto, man, he's he's just invincible. You can't touch him. Let's just not fight him, there's just no point. That's what you think, but people are dumb. Some, some people can be dumb in video games, thankfully for us. So obviously heading out of the school, we're gonna head to the left and then we're going up towards the woods again. Basically, we went into the creepier part of the forest where you guessed it, we're going to encounter another fight. Can you just tell the enthrallment that is in my voice right now? It's just... Woohoo! More dodgeball fights! Jeez! Anyway, heading all the way to the left. Grab a couple of bowels on your way past, heading down. And then we're just obviously heading left, 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 down, left, down, left. Kind of like a bloody puzzle game, this. And here we are then, into the deep forest. Find a couple of Windows 98 computers. Enjoy life.
Okay, so since we're now at the hell out of there, uh, we need to go back to the cafeteria. Oh man, I'm telling you what. So we can actually just head left instead of going all the way right. It makes no difference really, it takes about the same time to get there. Um, but honestly, it was it started getting to this point where we now almost three hours and ten minutes in. Especially this episode six where everything was just very, very samey. Go here, go there, do some fights. It was all exciting first, and then it just kind of got annoying and boring and in the way. So, yeah, they definitely didn't need the game to be this long, personally. But, hey, it's all good. We, you know, still an enjoyable game anyway. So, head to the cafeteria. We need to fire up our puban neurons. And guess what we're going to do? Oh, we're not actually going to fight this time. We're going to speak to the guy on the right. We actually have to speak to the guy on the right because we need to actually fight him, which is a damn shame. So go ahead, do your tang. And then when the fight is done, interact with the item on the right, as you can see, just had a little check mark on it. So interact with that again, that's important, because we've just picked up another item, and then skip through all of the dialogue. And we've got Otto Onion Head, we've got Oxo Pube and uh, <laughs> Diarrhea Boy, all coming to have a little chat with us. So we're okay, we're all good now though, everyone's a pal. And now we need to go back to the Central Plaza. So, I mean, why do we've got to, I don't know why we've got to rethink our strategy here, but still. Enjoy the fight, <laughs> as per. Hooray, fighting again. And like I said, it's back and forth, back and forth. So now we've got to go and investigate the secret of the tombstone in the forest where that sad purple-headed man kind of looked like he couldn't breathe was by. So we're heading into the forest. No need to pause your uh, screen right here. I'm doing this because I am stupid. And then what you can do is actually, you just need to actually head down from where you started then. Uh, for some reason, I decided to go the complete wrong, wrong way about this. Uh, so I ended up going all the way around, but you could have just gone down, taken the steps, and life would have been even easier that way. But had to grab a ball, so there it is. Investigate the tombstone, and then what's going to happen? We're going to fight with the epically disgustingated Boris. <laughs> Hooray! We've done that, and now what we can do is finally attend our tournament match. Again? Why is everything so back and forth? I'm getting so... Uh, uh, I don't think about it, man. Uh, 
anyway, since we do still have roughly an hour until the game is completed, we might as well just go and attend and beat the crap out of everyone in our tournament match anyway. Again, for some reason, making an absolute hash out of this. All we need to do is go towards the bottom of the screen, hit all the way to the right, and then go up inside the dome. Simples! And again, you obviously know what we're going to do. Ugh. Okay, well, we're almost going to go and beat our tournament until sad, sad, purple-headed, bug-eyed man wants to fight us again. Um, but of course, this is kind of like a tutorial as well. Um, some of the enemies will throw an illusion ball. You've just got to catch the ball after it. Simple as hell as we do this legitimately, legitimately with no cheats or anything. <laughs> of course. But we've just beaten that sad man. Sorry that, you know, your dodgeball died or whatever, but... Stop trying to fight us and then we won't kick you in the butt. Simple as as. Right, once that's done, now we can finally go up into our tournament match. And what we should be getting as well, again, if you've been following along exactly what I've done, we should be getting uh, to level 40 and completing episode 6. We did it! Tournament matches won, plus two achievements, so we've got to level 40, we've completed episode 6. So now we're going to head all the way back to the left, go back to the dorm, and then take a cheeky little nappy nap. Because once again, we are absolutely shattered. Uh, so it's a couple of tournaments then that we've won, uh, but now we can finally head into the last two episodes of the game. Go left here at the smiley area, of course, and then just head on up to El Dormorini. So yeah, we have got roughly about an hour of gameplay left. Head up, take a nap, enjoy. Stop letting Balloony watch you get naked. That's weird. <laughs> And it's the same old story, we're going out, going out, going downtown, baby. Nothing that much is happening, in fact, nothing much is happening so much, we're not actually getting any missable achievements in this one, which is going to be completing the short chapter. Now, we have to head down to the basement right here. So, head down the basement, and there will be a locked chest, but remember, do not hit that chest open just yet. Do not hit that chest open. If you do, you may actually glitch out the achievement for, uh, the all geared up achievement for collecting all the collectible chests. So, do not hit that. Just talk to the guy, get the side quests, and then we can move on, and there's going to be a bit more dialogue happening, as is the per, as is the usual. <laughs> And so, like I said, because we haven't got any side quests or anything, we're just going to basically be smashing in with the main objectives. But of course, there are going to be a whole bunch of other fights that we need to do as well. But first thing first, then head into the dodge shop. And then what we're going to do is basically buy um, the first couple of items that are on the list. Basically, until our bollery booze goes down. So we're going to buy the cursed armor, worn out socks, cheap wristwatch, brand new helmet, beautiful jewel. Uh, basically, just keep buying everything on the top until our until we can't afford anything other 
no other bollery booze that we cannot afford. So laurel wreath, green ring, and then that should be that. So we're going to come back. There is a particular reason for that. And that will all come into fruition soon. So first of all then, what we're going to do is head back into the um, wooded area, into the forest. Of course, we still need to get quite a lot of XP and a lot of money and everything. So that's where we're heading. As we head up then, we're going to get our first fight. In fact, we're going to be getting two. One in front of this big ball thing and one behind. So, here are the first two then, they have died, so now we're going to go through the left, through the grass, up a couple of these steps, and up the ramp, as you can see, there is another angry looking chick who wants to kick us while we're down, but that ain't never going to happen. Dry your eyes, mate. I know we just whacked a dodgeball in your head. Now you've got brain damage. Just go through the log and then up these steps right meow. Uh, yeah, just do that anyway. Over the ramp here and we go and get into another fight. Right then, so, I mean, are we the bully? Because we've just beaten everyone, taken their XP and all their money. Now we can head all the way to the right and then all the way out, back to the skew area. So, I, I don't know, does that just make us really good or does that make us a bully? Hmm, interesting. So, heading down, we're going to now begin to practice at the court near the infirmary. Or, no, actually, sorry, we're going to go and uh, have a little catch with rematch guy little rematch with rematch guys so this should be the seventh time that you've got this and then we're actually going to go to the infirmary after this one so make sure you balance him and that he is on level 40 and this time he's as hardcore as any balls i've seen in my life which are not many honestly So that is another ass kicking event that we've just done. Uh, so thank you, pal. We've got to beat him one more time to, and that basically acts as a side quest. Uh, so now we're just going to give a bit of grape juice there to Otto. My name is Otto. I give him some mango juice and he likes to get blato. And there we go. So just a couple of extra little XP boosts right there. And now what there is Boris. So a little bit of chats and everything as is the norm. Man, he is on fire. And once we've spoken to Boris, what we're going to do is actually go back into the car park now. Again, since it's a new day, there's going to be a whole bunch of people who just want to just cut the quiff off us. But that's not going to happen. Now, there's about five or six people around here. So again, just, just follow the screen here. 
Uh, really not a lot for me to say, but we're just going to kick ass as normal. If you, Still, if you haven't got the Catastrophe achievement, um, again, time is kind of running out now, so if you haven't got it yet, try and get it on this one or in one of the next couple of fights. Uh, but I think there's around four, four people to fight in the right-hand side area, and there's about two on the left. I know there is a Windows 98 computer to the left there, but we're just going to grab everyone on the right. So a couple on the right, couple on the left, just, just grab everyone that I do, kick ass, and once again we can happily move on to Mount Dodgy. I'll tell you why it's dodgy in a minute. Right, so we're done with this area now. Basically, there was one guy with a sort of side quest that we had to do anyway. Um, you can do it in any order. I don't think it particularly matters. Um, but like I said, so you should have beaten at least, uh, I think there was six or seven people right there. And as soon as we're done, we're just going to head back up. Because, of course, we are going to need to go to Mount Dod Dodgy, which doesn't sound dodgy at all, does it? So head all the way to the right. We're going to have to do another couple of fights before we head up the steps. Thank <laughs> you. 
And that bit's done, now we can have another little bit of dialogue. Basically, before getting on the train, if you need any more items, there is a collectible food bin right here. We shouldn't need it, or as many as we have done, because of course we've got all the achievements tied to it. But now we can just jump on the train and go to Mount Dodgy. And, oh, this is why it's dodgy. Completely frozen, can potentially fall off and die and everything on a big icy cliff. Okay, that's why we know now that it is Mount Dodgy. Uh, it's not just dodgy guts after you've eaten a disgusting pizza. So, obviously, th the same thing applies here. It is a new area. It's again, very small area, new area, but we are going to need to fight everyone that we possibly can so we can get all the money and all their XP. And they are going to try and throw ice balls at you, which is genuinely... I mean, won't that hurt? Won't that give you a bit more brain damage than just a regular dodgeball? Yeah, I assume so. Anyway, you can grab that food collectible bin if you want, doesn't matter if you don't, just head to the right and fight with chickadee dee doo 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 da 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 right meow. She's looking a bit of blue, you might have to put a jacket on there, hun. So if you just head down, head down the ramp, and we're gonna speak to this guy, fight him as well. And this is where it can be potentially a bit dodgy, a bit tricky. We need to now just jump over, do a little bit of platforming right here. So just be careful um, and just take your time. We just head all the way to the right until we get another fight on the go. Again, if you do fall down, it doesn't matter too much because the ramp will be right there for you to try again anyway. Yeah, so we're out of breath, but there are a lot of fights. Head up to the ramp. We've got a fight on the right and a fight on the left as well. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> So what we need to do from here, go to the right, and then we need to roll as fast as we can, and then jump at the very end to get over to the other side. Now, very important, there is a collectible chest right here. So just make sure to smash this one open. We will have another opportunity later, but it's best to get this one out of the way. This one is very easily missable. If you miss it here, you will not be able to come back up. So push this block off, or this box off, so make sure to grab that collectible crest chest crate. And then go ahead and do the same thing. So to the right, roll as fast as you can, jump at the very end to get to the other side. Uh, fight with this chick right here and all is good. Again, if you do end up falling off, obviously the ramp is basically just up, you know, just right there in front of you. So you can try again, so you don't have to like backtrack too much or anything. So kill everyone here, we do this in quite quick succession. There it is. <laughs> And so once that is done, then we'll be doing the same thing. Remember, by the way, to have obviously collected that collectible chest, the one that we just spoke about a little bit before. Otherwise, head to the right, do your quick uh, tap succession rolling, and then we can just jump off the uh, plank of wood onto the other side. That should happen. You should Again, doesn't matter if you do fall down, you can get back up to that point anyway. Um, and then just fight these Window 98 computer and these freezing-looking girls. Ah, 
now once this is done then just we're gonna head to the right again just be careful we need to jump over uh, grab a dodgeball right here and then fight with this warmer looking lady who is not purple and blue so probably warm right right <laughs> So from here then, we can be careful, uh, gotta be careful, head down to the left very slowly and then head to the right, we need to jump on this bit of platform and then jump to the right again. And then as we head up the ramp, what we can do is just head down, again doing the whole roll of life and then just jump to the other side, so it should be okay. Make sure once again to push this box down, This uh, pushing these boxes down are gonna come in mega handy a little bit later on. Um, purely for the sake of skipping a couple of fights and everything, and we can just jump up instead of going around the whole map. Otherwise, up to the left, we've got huh, another fight. Who's seen that one coming again? Hmm. So, can begin to get a little bit dodgy right here, as we are on Mount Dodgy, but we're going to head up to the left, roll and go over to the right. It did look like you had to go up to the left, but we need to roll, go over to the right. And this is where it can get potentially a little bit dodgy. Just eek forward ever so slowly. Don't rush, don't run. And then just jump over the platforms onto the other side. And there that is. And again, what we need to do is just push this box down. So, do that one, and then have a fight with Freezing Lady. And of course, when this one is done, we're going to head up to the right and fight with this guy. Oh, I'm so delighted to fight someone else at dodgeball. Right, once you've got everything from here, there is going to be another food collectible bin to grab. So if you want to grab that, you can. If not, do not panic. Unless, of course, you haven't got the uh, achievement for uh, doing the whole thing with Balloon earlier on. Giving a, a character 10 items that they love. Otherwise, we're going inside and heading into yet another fight. So thankfully then, Mount Dodgy is more or less over. Now we have to catch the train back to the ski. Um, so obviously uh, just do your whole dip, dodge, ducking, diving roll there to get to the other side. We've got an Akai shake as well, which sounds disgusting in all fairness. Generally look like liquid diarrhea, but that's also cute. Uh, just keep heading down there. And eventually what we can do, um, I think actually we have to go across, uh, no, sorry, we keep keep going down. Just keep heading all the way down. You can jump off this bin. <laughs> sorry, got a bit lost in myself there. And then finally we can just head onto the train, head back, and then go straight to the libel brewery. 
So I don't think there's going to be... No, there's not going to be any new enemies. There's not going to be anything like that. We can just go to the library. So that's heading all the way to the left, as you should probably know by now. Heading down, etc. Yeah, yeah. Roll to your heart's content, honey. Oh, damn it, Noemi! Damn it, Noemi! I'm trying to get to the friggin' library. you got to get in my way with your angry purple sad friend in your crappy Windows 98 computer. I wonder if she's actually on our side or if she's against us sometimes, because she's doing my head in. I haven't exactly looked at the story enough to be able to tell what's going on. We fought and we've had a, a bit of a laugh and we've gone nuts with everything. Anyway, so what we've done, actually, we're going to head to the left rather than go into the library. And we're going to head down um, into the basement. Again, not collecting the chest, but we are going to um, end this uh, side quest. So we're going to do that first. We've retrieved, retrieved the books for... I don't know, let's call him Angry Rodri or something. That'll do. So we've retrieved the book for Angry Rodri, and that is that side quest complete. The only side quest that we've got left to do now is to beat Rematch Guy one more time, and that is where every si the side quest for uh, the achievement for completing every side quest should unlock. Sorry, man, I lost myself there. And it's been a long recording session. God damn. Anyway, back into the library we go, as if we haven't been here before. Jesus Christ. Uh, look at the angry, really just pissed off looking librarian. And now we've got to go down to the basement. So head to the right, into the basement, and have a ch cheeky listen. Look, Sonic's STD sister right there. Now we can Oxo Cube there, Onion Head. They're all there. <laughs> oh, and they caught us. Let's fight. Let's fight. <laughs> That was a big fight, considering they were getting squares and throwing squares at us for some reason. 
So it ended up sounding like Lenny from The Simpsons. Ow, I'm not supposed to get <laughs> square eyes in it. I know it's put in, but, you know. Right, anyway, so I just bollocks up the complete joke there. Um, I was thinking of a completely different Simpsons episode, so ignoring that, anyway, we're heading over the bridge. We're basically going to see the principal in his office up inside the school. So heading, obviously, to the right. You should know where the school is by now, right here with the two dodgeballs outside of it. We've got about a half hour now of gameplay left before we can finally end the monotony. A uh, couple of fights that we are going to do then. One on the right here and one on the left. So, well, again, if you haven't figured out how to play dodgeball in this game by now, I can't help you now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't got this far. And so finally then, after everyone's trying to fight us, all we want to do is speak to Big Dog Principal right here. Why are you trying to... Stop it. Anyway, we're going to go into the Principal's office again. Double tap on the Y button to skip through everything. And, oh, hello. Thank you very much. Oh, I thought you'd give us something then. Ah, oh, you screw off. And then what we can just do, we are going to head back down and back outside. And so, what we need to do is go to the forest again. But we're not actually going this way. What we're going to do is actually head um, head towards our dorm. And we're going to go in the back way to the forest. That's basically where the um, creepier forest type thing is. Uh, so, obviously, just head across the bridge again. This time, we're going to go up. Skip in the dodge shop. We're going to go up. Skip in this guy. Grab a ball if you want. And then, obviously, we're just going to head up, uh, left and up. Trying to roll here. If everything could just stop being in my way, that would be f fantastic. And then obviously it's just up from here to the left. We're going to get into another little dodgeball fight, as is the per, as is the usual. And then we can go into the creepy forest to find Big Boz. Actually, this time, as soon as we go in, there's not going to be a fight in this particular bit because the gates are now finally open. <laughs> Apparently, something like that. Anyway, so we can actually head through because Boris's house is right here. If for some reason he lives in the creepiest part of the woods and smash through all the dialogue, what we're going to say is, oh, awesome, let's see, let's go on a date. Because, uh, you know, why not? You want me, Boris? I want you. Don't deny this love affair we have. 
You think you're so cool? You would be cool when I've got your balls in my mouth. Do dodgeballs, sorry, dodgeballs when we fight in the tournament. <laughs> of course. But <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? Anyway, so now we can actually return to our dorm. We have completed episode 7, so now finally, finally, we're on to the last final episode. And then we can be done with this very fun, but a little bit too long in my opinion, game. So obviously we're just heading down past the dodge shop. Oh, we're actually going into the dodge shop. Sorry, sorry. So tell you what we're actually going to do while we are into the do dodge shop. We're going to buy every item on the menu apart from one. So this bit is very, very important. We're going to buy every object apart from one. Doesn't matter which one, um, but we are just going to leave one item alone. So for me, it's the streamer headphones. I've literally bought everything else. If you've been going along with this game as I have as well, you should now be at this point. So just make sure there's one item left. For me, it's the streamer headphones. For you, you could have just bought anything. But as long as there's one item left to buy, again, we're going to be doing this for another achievement later on, just in case of a potential glitch. So very important just to do that there. Now we can head back to our home, our home dorm, take a little nappy nap, and finish this ball sack. Okay then, let's do this shit buddy, let's do this, so let us just head outside now, basically, again as long as you've been following the video, obviously all timestamps will be provided in the description below like I said, but we should now be getting the helping hand achievement for completing all of the side quests, uh, pick any dialogue option you want here. Uh, but basically, we've just got the one side quest left, which is for, like I said, beating the rematch guy one last time. So we're going to get through this part, and we're finally getting onto the grand finale. So, what we're supposed to do is head to the final tournament match at the Doms. Uh, at the Dome. At <laughs> the Doms. But, like I said, what we're going to do, we're going to head up. We're going to go over the bridge and far away. Teletubbies come to play. Uh oh Sorry, wrong bit again. Man, having kids just screws up your head, doesn't it? In terms of kitty crap. Head to the school, get and complete and beat the crap out of rematch guy, and then we never have to do with this stupid business again. Plus, you get the achievement at the end of it, so everyone's happy. Finally! side quests right so finally we've done now we don't have to go out of our way to find anything and do anything and whatever anything we are just going to simply head all the way to the right go to the dome with no interruptions eh? Eh? right eh? okay we're good now we're going to win the tournament and enjoy ourselves. 
So, obviously, you know what to do. Kick ass. Kick ass, buddy. We have won the tournament, Skull Champion, but of course, thanks to game developers who always continuously want you to play the games, which is understandable, we're not quite done yet, which is exhausting in itself. Uh, because now these, like, I don't know, they're like dodgeballs that have come to life or something. They, they, they've come around, they're going to try and take over the town, and now you're just like, ugh. Oh man, now we got more stupid assholes to fight. Ew. And this is actually the point where I got extremely hated. So the hatred I had for these dodgeball bald looking things really went above and beyond what <laughs> it was supposed to be. But, you know. But luckily, we don't actually have to do every single fight. We can, specifically, we can avoid some. And the first one's gonna be up by the Dodge Shop. Now, if you go to the right of him here, he's gonna see you. But what we're gonna do is go behind him. So go behind him, go to the left of him, and then you can actually just now sneak on by. So it always thinks like you probably couldn't, but for whatever reason, he doesn't catch you there. Uh, but, if you, <laughs> but if you go to the right of him, he will. Um, yeah, if you go behind him, you won't. So, happy days. So we can actually skip a few here. If you just stick to the right-hand side of the wall as much as you can. The first one you can avoid. The second one I've just got here, you could have probably just gone around him there. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass at this point. <laughs> So, sadly for us then, there is no way past, which again, just, oh, couldn't someone just take a nuke to this place now? I think we're all done with this place. Screw dodgeball. Anyway, what we're going to do is head up. Don't worry about this stage right here, everyone is knocked out, which is tidy. But we are going to head up, we're heading up to the school. Now, you can avoid this one for now, but I don't think you can avoid him later, so you might as well just beat this dude now and get it over with. Oh, 
Okie dokie then, we're now we're going to head up into the forest. We are coming up, thankfully, to around 15 minutes left of the game. Uh, so what we need to do, basically, there is no one to fight, luckily, at this point. But we're going to head up the steps here on the left-hand side. We're just basically going to go up the ramp. I don't know why I keep trying to roll up the ramp. You know, uh, gravity doesn't always work that way. And we're just going to go across the bridge. For the first time, we're going to go across the bridge. And now we've got Onion Head and Constipation Dude who actually need our help. So even though they've tried to kill us, destroy us all throughout the game, we are going to help them out. Sadly, as we head down through the grass, we're going to get these stupid mascots again. Ugh. Right, head out of the grass, go down, go to the right where the lab is, and we are going to have to fight six of these mascots now. Luckily, you've got your god mode on right now, right? So, not that basically everyone's picked on us, but we're saving the day from absolutely everybody. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? They don't hold a grudge, they don't get pissed off, even though it would be super satisfying to. We're going to head back up, right towards the bridge where we just were again. Go across the bridge, bit of dialogue with uh, Sonic's STD'd up sister. And guess what? We're going to have to fight again! <laughs> it's just fantastic! Yeah. Okay then, so sadly for us, we still got a little bit of back and forth that we need to do. We are almost done with it though, so we can just now head down all the way to the right. Basically, we're going back into the main school area. So head down, enjoy the rain. Enjoy the boredom of the rain. I've been so bored by rain in all my life. Anyway, we're going to head down. What we need to do, we need to go to the school right here. Because uh, we need to look for the professors here at the school's main building. Um, obviously, it's not working for us uh, because the doors are locked. So now we got to go to the infirmary. Like, like why you kind of just cut off a couple of minutes and just get, go straight to the infirmary? Look at the infirmary first, just in case. But that's how it's been. Go here, go there, go freaking everywhere. Don't worry about these mascots. They are all knocked out, which is all good. Again, a couple of dialogues are going to happen there. The um, shit, the shite X Men. Or the S-Men, as of course we like to call them. They're having not such a good time, which is understandable. I mean, they are adults after all, and they've left it to a kid with the tails from Sonic the Hedgehog quiff to um, save the day, basically. So, thanks for that. Anyway, now we can head back to the skill. And now there are two fights that you can avoid. And that's basically by going just in the middle of them. If you go either, either to the left or right of these two, you will fight them, but if you just head straight through the middle, um, they're all good. You can just avoid them. So, again, it just saves about a minute or two. I know it's only a minute or two, but, you know, by the end, you're getting quite annoyed here. So, uh, we are going to go, if we go to the left, we need to get the keys to the principal's office, but if we go to the left, and we're going to head into the third door on the very left, there is going to be another fight for us to do, because Big George is, he's not a happy bunny with his square old head.
So once this fight is done, we've got the office key. Now basically what we're going to need to do for the next minute or two is just go into each door. So the crown door, this one, and then the one on the right. Beat a bunch of mascots, get the keys, be able to get into the principal's office. Simple as popping a pimple on your nipple. God damn you, Oxo Cube! Why are you working with real life dodgeballs? This is kind of like a weird ass fairy tale, I suppose, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, so we got the keys, we fought everyone we possibly can. We still need to go through the middle of these two so we can avoid fighting them, so just be careful there. Instead of, a <laughs> instead of uh, getting another fight, which is bloody annoying. We're so close to the end of the game now, guys, I can feel it! We're going to head to the right, going up, basically with the cable car. We can avoid that last guy there just by going specifically to the right, but we're not avoiding these two, of course. And now we can get our ass into the cable car, and we're off to Mount Dodgy. Go for another dodgy look. Now remember we pushed all the uh, boxes down and everything earlier, so if you did somehow miss the collectible chest from here earlier on, you can collect it again if you want to, but hopefully uh, you would have just got that earlier, so you don't have to worry about it this time. So again, there are a couple of fights that we can avoid, and like so, we're going to be going to the right, first of all. Again, some can be avoided, some can't. It's just the way of the nature of this blasted game. So now we're going to head up onto the first box. There we go. And this is what the first fight... Fight? <laughs> the first fight we can't avoid. And now if we go directly to the left, if we start hopping up on the platforms, remember we couldn't get up here earlier on because there was no box. Now we can do that, we can go basically straight there instead of going up and down and all around the goddamn freaking map. 
So press X here to interact with the radio tower. <laughs> and, well, I thought it was a fight then. I was just prepared to get myself ready again. Oh, hello. Oh. Jesus Christ. Calm down, calm down, my goat. Skip dialogue, skip dialogue, skip dialogue. So it was Oxo Cube was behind the whole thing altogether. I don't know why. There probably was a reason, but again, we haven't been looking at any of the dialogue, have we? So, um, right, what we need to do now then is just uh, speak with absolutely every single one on this stage right here. Um, but what we're actually going to do, actually, get the items out, and then we're going to give Otto a couple of chocolate milks. What that's going to do is get us to level 50. Um, so if you haven't got level 50 by now, just get into your um, items, get out a couple of chocolate milks or something that'll do up the XP for us right there so we can get to level 50. Again, it doesn't matter if you haven't got it yet, you can still do a couple of fights and buy a couple of items from the shops and everything. But you should be more, if you're not there yet, you should be definitely close enough. Um, so we're going to speak to everyone on the stage, um, including El Principale. Heck yeah, let's proceed with the ceremony. I've literally just uh, done all that. And if we're not proceeding with the ceremony, I am going to get and I'm going to get a, a machete and chop off one of your nutsacks, mate. But we've done it! Finally! Completed episode 8. Oh my god, it's done. The game is done. Oh, Nino's dad is tamping! Now he's going to have the blue screen of death and, you know, going to die. Unlucky Nino and Nino's dad. So, the only thing that we've got left to get then is the all geared up achievement. Uh, so we've got a couple of chests that we're going to grab. The first thing we are going to do is if we head to the left, basically we're going into the dorm now. Now for whatever reason, like I said, if you were getting all of these chests and everything before the end of the game, for some reason it would just glitch out and it wouldn't unlock. But now we have actually completed the main story. Um, again, I just save here just in case because you never know. Um, but yeah, so for whatever reason, hopefully the devs patch that in the future. Um, but luckily there was a work, a work and a way around it this time. So we're going into the basement in the dorm this time, smashing this chest, grabbing the golden bandana, which would have been cooler to have in the main game, but that's okay. Uh, so now we can actually grab that. And we've got, I believe there are three collectible chests left to grab. So we're going to head down, roll down, without being dizzy, which is just skill on the bill. We're going to head to the Doge Shop No, or the Doji Shop. And uh, we are going to buy that one remaining item, which, remember, we left earlier. So for me, it was the streamer headphones. 
but there should be one item remaining left for you to buy and as long as you've done that again that was more of a just in case thing uh, because people have been known to buy everything in the stores and the achievement still glitches out so that's why we've left a couple of things just to be on the safe side now there is one in the infirm infirmary of course that we left as well which i just forgotten about but we'll grab that one last anyway uh, so for now we're going to head into the school and we're heading upstairs and luckily like i said we've got no more fights left we've got none of that crap left we are literally just grabbing collectibles and then we are finally done with the game so head up the stairs head all the way to the right and of course it was this one missable one that again we were going to leave just in case it's to the right side of the uh, stairs right there chuck your dodgeball at it to get some comfy socks lovely jubbly and now well this is it what an adventure we have been on it's been entertaining it's been well the gameplay has been I mean it was kind of repetitive was it not I don't know if you agree with me or not here guys and gals but the, the gameplay especially towards the end got kind of repetitive and those mascots just pissed me the hell off head into the infirmary then and then we can finally end the game. There is the chest right by the knocked out guy who's still knocked out. Man, you want to... Somebody wants to see him pretty quick. And there we go then, guys and gals. So that is all geared up. So now, doing it this way, hopefully you followed everything that I have. And now you should have a nice 37 out of 37, 1,000 out of 1,000 done. And that is that. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hopefully, like I said, you enjoyed the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the guide as well. We had some good entertaining laughs along the way, as we always do. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if it did as well. Also, not forget to check me out on my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as well. Big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support this channel, whether you are just leaving a comment, a like, or if you are doing it on Patreon as well. You guys are legends. Fantastic. Love you so much. And that is that then for this one, guys and gals. So I shall see you in the next one. Big love.